Wah, wah. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> is this thing on? Hello, hello. Is this, it? This hello. This is not on. Wait. I think yes. it's on. I, yeah. It is on. Yeah, it is on. Can yeah, anyone yeah. confirm? Uh, yeah, can you confirm are... is on. Can confirm. Wow, that's good because Cuddly did volunteer to do the introductions this week. When? <laughs> when? Right now. Just yeah, earlier, no, you right. were wait. No, you were you were wait wait making your mocha, and we all voted. Hmm. It was yeah, unanimous, actually. Like yeah. Unanimous. Yeah. It was unanimous. Okay. No, yeah. I have to do it now. That's that's fair. That's hmm. fair. Okay. Wow. Fantastic. Uh, yeah. So uh, first and foremost, let me introduce our dungeon mistress, who is super benevolent and would like never ever. Never throw a dragon in our face. Not even a, it's dragon. Not a dragon. Like just wouldn't even. It's not a dragon. Yeah, like she would. She would just never do that. Um, uh, Josie Poser, who also uh, is a variety streamer as well, just plays a lot of fun different things. Um, probably should be in Genshin Impact as a character, uh, but they just don't. They don't know that yet. So, um, that's Josie. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Next we have. Um, I'm just gonna go in alphabetical order. Next we have Adi Devgro. Um, who develops things, has a fro, and uh, also was wearing a pumpkin head when I got on the call. I don't know what that was about, but is secretly a pumpkin. So that's fantastic. Um, we love him. He does variety games. He's so good at building. Like, he will build you anything. Not like in real life, but like in game world, he will build you anything. No, like, just hit him up. Promise. Promise. Just slide into those DMs. He will build you a Minecraft house. Pro just bono. Kiss. Yeah. Oh, and he's gone. <laughs> Fantastic. Anyway, moving on. Good at home. Our Ian VTuber. Uh, currently blue, not always blue. Sometimes is um, a little a little cat demon thingy, and we love that for her. Um, very, very ice person, and I, I mean it like that. Uh, likes to incite chaos. Sometimes is the voice of reason as well. So you never know what you're going to get on that particular day. Um, also, my beautiful Twitch wife. So, you know, uh, yeah, that's fantastic. Is muted, but we can see her elation. <laughs> you get acknowledged on four people's degrees by your Twitch wife. Uh, and finally, we have uh, Wettest Orb, who's, yep. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's your turn. Yeah, buddy. Uh, my Twitch husband. Um, love, love the beard. Like the beard. I don't know if you guys realize, but um, the beard is actually quite big in real life. It's about five feet. Or is actually a giant. He's like twenty feet tall. So that's just like a little bit for you to know. Um, at also plays variety games. Also a very good builder. Likes chaos more than building. I think. So probably won't build you a Minecraft house. I wouldn't ask. Uh, and we will have Roju joining us, who um, will be popping in. He's also got a very big beard. It's not, he's not 20 feet. He's 15 feet. So it's a little bit smaller beard, but you know, it's its okay. Um, yeah. And and he, he loves doing voices. He's great at voices and he loves doing variety streams and he loves playing D&D. Ta-da! Ta-da! But what's everyone playing, Cuddly? Uh, they're playing Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> but Not what are their characters? Oh, okay, 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 okay. That's so hard. Uh, okay, hold on. So Josie Poser is playing Josie Poser. Um, there. Uh, Ozzy <laughs> Defro is playing Rudy Magic Hands McGee. Um, he is a... I don't remember what it's called, so he's like kind of alive, kind of dead, uh, and he's a cleric, allegedly. Uh, and then we have Gudetome, who's a, a bard sorcerer starling named George. Um, and then we have Wenis Orb, who is a ranger rogue half-elf named Arthur. No, a elf! I'm the half-elf in the next... Yeah, no, it's fine. I, I got this. I'm on it. I'm on it. Spoiler? I'm on it. <laughs> You don't need we'll to know okay. anything. Anyway, <laughs> don't worry. And then Roju is playing um, a warlock, even though it says wizard, poorly. It's, he's not a wizard. Don't worry. He's a, he's a warlock sorcerer, and his name is Gerald. And you are playing? <laughs> uh, I am playing Nana Melavora, who is arguably the best class he can play, which is druid. 
and she's a gnome and she will feed you. That's a threat and a promise. That's a threat. That is a threat mm -hmm. and yeah. a promise. What, what is Farewell. what is Rudy's? He's like a, reborn. He's reborn. 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 Oh. Just just like, always think of yeah. baby Bjorn, that that cute little cub that yes. you that you okay. um that you brought back, and then or... think of uh Rudy decaying and disgusting and horrible. Uh, and just I was thinking along. Reaper, and I was like, that's not right. It's not. But I had the <laughs> first two Reaper letters one. right. It's a really bad anime. I don't know that one. I I'm heard, it. Keep I've it heard like of that. it. A uh, baby mafia member uh, shoots MC to turn him into also a mafia member, oh, and reborn. then just keeps going reborn. Yes, yes. Katakyo Hitman reborn. It apparently is gets it... good season two, but season one is a little um. It is. It, they also always shed their skin and run yeah. around in their undies when they become yeah, reborn, which is why uh, it takes a while to get used to. Apparently, and I did not give it that chance. <laughs> no, me neither. Also, the, the the person who's killing everyone to make them run around in their undies is a little baby with a, a literal pet lizard. baby. A literal baby. Before Baby Boss was a thing, mm. we had Reborn, the assassin baby. I don't know if I like it. He was that. also a mafia member. The only clothes he yeah. likes to wear is either a suit or nothing, but he always wears his mafia hat. Right. Yes. Well, while we didn't give that anime a chance, we will give playing D and D a chance. Well, yes, but yes. we were told that Roju Roju should be ro stumbling in around. Right soon about now. Yeah, it, he's got like so six we're vamping seconds. now. And yeah. Oh, do you want me to give you more introductions? Because I will. That's also a threat. I mean, Let's we could we could Minecraft no houses. we we no, should okay. talk about what we just freaking announced. We haven't even mentioned it yet. Oh yeah. We have a oh, merch yeah. store, guys. You didn't What you, the heck? You didn't see anything. <laughs> we you saw nothing? There's what? There's a merch store? There's a merch Tell store. Tell me more about it. Wow. Yeah. Come on. You started this, Ozzy. Give us yeah. a rundown. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Have you ever wanted to cuddle up to a Rudy Magic Hands body pillow? Well, you most certainly shouldn't, you horrible person you. But what you can get now on the Dramonia merch store are buttons, stickers, pins, posters, notebooks, little wooden blocks with our faces on it. I don't know, there's a whole bunch of stuff, but it's all there and all for a decent price. Uh, if you want to support the channel in more ways than how you already are than just being here and you want to have a little bit of the Dramonia campaign in your own home. Uh, in all seriousness, we do have a merch store. It is live right now, um, and it's amazing. Uh, all, pretty much, I believe all the art up there has come from our own denimation. Is that correct? Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes. Um, what is on the merch store that you might not have seen before is Jalira, um, our uh, big bad, and there is a wonderful poster that shows all the party members with Jalira looming over the top. So there's some really cool, unique pieces there that you haven't seen before in uh, across any of the streams, um, as well as individual shots of all the characters. Uh, we, they're updated models, so what they actually look like, kind of what they look like right now in the campaign. Uh, so a lot of really, really cool stuff. No, I haven't set up a command yet, Dutch, because it was just announced right now, um, but we'll probably set up commands and all that sort of jazz as well. Um, but yeah, the links yes. in chat, my chat at least. Go check it out. I have also put a link in chat. I did yeah. it just before my timed command because I did set one up. Whoa. Oh, yeah. no, my merch command went wow, up afterwards. Arby, you don't have a command for it yet? <laughs> Orb already has a command for his. Yeah. Oh, yeah, merch. yeah damn right. Totally didn't okay. set it up cool. now while you're Cool, <laughs> fantastic. I, I spent all of my pre and pre time trying to resync the voices. So one mm -hmm. thing at a time. It's fair. It's fair. I literally yeah. did it right after you said, Oh, I don't have a command for it yet. I had it out right there. Okay. <laughs> all right. I'll do I will I will do it now. I'm gonna do it right now. All right, you want it? I'll get I'll get it. We're we'll doing, doing, doing it live. Doing it live. Doing it live. Doing it live. A new command. I will say, should we should we mention the other thing just while we're waiting for Roju? Go for it, but you I'm know, not doing sales I... pitch this time. I got called out. No, okay, Josie has Josie's doing the sales pitch. P pitch? Okay, so welcome to another round. This is Hularu Makavi coming to you live from the Sunwalk Arena. <laughs> you will never believe this, folks, but we have actually a brand new Twitch channel in the works that where we will be streaming from at some point in the future. You can follow the link that you see in my chat, perhaps in the other chats, 
then go to the Natural 30s channel on Twitch. You will see that there are quick little about section tabs where you can read some quick bio about our players and characters. There will be a weekly recap being seen in that section as well. You can also see the splashing new art that Denny has made us, which is gorgeous. There is, as of yet, no starting date for when this channel goes live, as in we will be streaming from it. But we would appreciate anyone who wants to, to go and follow it. Very, very happy to see all of you viewers coming to one place to spend time together and laugh at us while we play a game of make-believe. Thank you all very much. This has been Hularu McAvee from the Sunlock Arena. Good night. It's scary how good at that voice you are. Like, it's it's terrifying. It's It's too good. One thing I will quickly add to uh, to that that announcement is that um, because there are no videos on the Natural 30s uh, Twitch page just yet, it does take a little bit of searching to find. Um, if yeah. everyone would like, I have a solution. I, we could put the links in Yeah, that. we got solution. I, I put well, a link. Even better, do slash shout out so people get the follow thing in the chat <gasps> themselves. Oh my god. That's what I did with Orb. Can't you pin a message? Yeah, the top? Can. Okay, I think I just did the command. <laughs> Hold on, we're adding more chores for me to do? Oh my god. Does oh, it... it worked! People in my chat, if you see the little follow button on your the top of the chat right now, you can click it and automatically follow the Did it channel. go to the right channel though? Let me earn my mods. <laughs> it did. Yes, I, it, it did. did. Hang on, so what do you do? Slash shout out. Yeah, and then just natural 30s. With space or without space? Like with the shout out? No spaces. Oh, after shout out, you do slash shout out and yeah, just space hit, like and then natural thirties. Yes. Yeah. Okay, please yeah. go to the right one. You'll um... see the you'll see the uh, profile picture. Uh, Denny, uh, I see your message there, Denny. We are going to be discussing such a thing in uh, in the next meeting. The next little meeting. <laughs> but where is Roju? Is yeah, the question. Excellent. Excellent. This is the right one. Beautiful. Yes, I checked for you, so Ozzy. No yeah, worries. thank you. So I, there it is. I really, really do not want to go ahead uh, with this session since we will be starting immediately with combat against a golden yeah. dragon. That's not actually a dragon. Can... I do want Roju here for the start of it. Can we all go around and say what we think it is? Because I personally think it's a duck. <laughs> I, you said I it was... walks like a dragon. It talks like that's only ever used for a duck. Josie, I think it's a duck. Okay, okay, listen, listen, mm -hmm. listen, listen. Duck. So Highlander. it's, no, no, because I'm saying it's not the creature type dragon. A duck would be the creature type beast, so you could vote beast. Oh. It's the dire it's, goose reborn, the says Denny. It's the dire goose, yeah, no. It's oh, the I dire hear, goose. I hear, I hear, Discord. He's I hear him. Discord. He's on the way. So it's, it's a, it's a duck beast, is what I'm hearing. It's, it's a duck beast? Yeah. Okay. Like Ducktales, but it's a duck beast. Is Ducktales the hockey playing ducks, or is that something no, different? No, that's the Mighty Ducks. Ducktales is oh, the shit. animated show about like Donald Duck and his nephew. Oh shit! Okay, wow, I had that very backwards. <laughs> okay, no, I love it. I think it's a duck who's about to play hockey, and his real name is Donald and not Dylan. Oh shit! You might be onto something. Yeah, thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Um, that actually ends the stream for us today. Don't forget to go follow uh, Natural 30s at, in their natural yeah. habitat. Um, we've had a lot of fun. Bye. Have we? I've had fun. Okay, good. <laughs> Don't leave, please. I'm not leaving. <laughs> We're so close to getting Rohan in here. I'm not leaving. <laughs> um, what we could do... Sorry, go ahead, Aussie. Uh, I just, I'm getting a few questions regarding the announcements. Um, Yes. So just to clarify, um, no, we're not merging all our channels. No, we are just the D and D related content across our channels, or at least um, yes. everyone else's channels aside from Josie, since you tend to do a bit of like role play, oh, not role play, um, tabletop stuff on your own channel anyway. Um, our combined D and D stuff will probably be, all be on the Natural Thirties channel. Uh, we might. We've also discussed the idea of doing um, games like. Um, like Celasta and um and games like um Divinity, like sort of tabletop and inspired. RP as the characters. And, yeah, and RP as our characters and stuff like that. Um so there is going to be 
uh, other related content on there as well um, when we want to do those sort of collabs. So we're just going to try and funnel the Dungeons and Dragons related content into one space because we feel that might work a little bit better across all of our here's Roger, yes. um, it, all it, of our um, channels. And that should put Roger in the right spot. It did, it did for me. Um, I better make yes. it visible. Uh, uh, Roger, you are muted, but I can add uh, to yes. that Hello. as well. Hello. Is just that instead of all of us individually streaming D and D. At some point in the future, we will be streaming from that channel, mm -hmm. which also helps us improve the quality because we can divvy up some resource management instead of all of us having to keep our own streams in check. Mm -hmm. We will be able to uh, up the production quality, if you will, by, by having people focused on various tasks regarding yeah. the stream there's a lot of work going on behind the scenes into this um specifically not just in the preparation for campaign two but also for the natural 30s uh channel um yes. so that's also why we've we've um popped up the merch store as well because you know any funds that come through that will also be funneled into the creation of this channel that's dedicated to producing more dungeons and dragons content for you guys um yeah. yes there can also be world building streams and stuff like that donk absolutely so we're just at the moment it's there there is possibilities for all that stuff um but as we said it is under construction is currently just there as a placeholder so go follow that and um and um we'll eventually port everything over there um yes and the other question was no we're not going to do a tpk today just to move over there no um no <laughs> <laughs> and the other question well, is for other reasons yeah <laughs> exactly <laughs> Um, and the other question I've got over here was, um, will there be a splitting of the merch store when we do open campaign two? Yes, yes. So we will we will rearrange things and remake things so that you've got campaign two match and Dramonia merch. Don't worry. Um, but right now it's all just Dramonia. So just yes, it, it would yeah. it would technically be the same store. We'll just yeah. work yeah and fiddle with things. But yes. So one reason that we're also asking people to follow in advance is because the. The sooner we can hit affiliate on that channel, the sooner we can also improve quality mm. with the custom emotes and all of those fun things. And it will also help us a lot. Like, this is a streaming platform and we we really, really want to keep playing D&D, but at, at some point we can only do so much without the help of the viewers. So um yeah, watch watch that space and we will obviously give you all plenty of notice of when the changes will go through. Oh yes. Um but the oh, best yes. way to be notified of those changes is to follow the channel. So that way you'll get it all there. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so we have Roju. Hi, yeah. Well I'm here. I won't be streaming today because obviously I'm pretty late to the party. Um, but thankfully not late to the party. We uh, yeah. we did we did manage to squeeze out some extra some extra announcements uh, to make sure that you got here before we actually started, because today, folks, we will be starting today's session after a quick little recap. We will be rolling initiative. Oh heck! So last week on Dramonia. The party won the third round of the Sunlock Arena against the Behirs. But in the final moment when Nana shunted the Behir that had grasped Rudy into the air, he fell unconscious. In a last-ditch effort to add some drama and flair, he managed to get his facial veil off. And he landed, broken and unconscious on the ground, with his appearance for all to see, gasping, ooing. And ewing came from the audience. As sneakily, the party ran up and healed Rudy, and he played dead for but a moment before standing back up. And with the help of an illusion, it looked like his face was back to normal. The party was given a bit of an extra little amount of coins for their flair added to the Sunlock Arena. And the help also defeated the Behirs. So in order to create a sort of tiebreaker situation, Hulu McAvee, the Master of Ceremonies, flipped a coin, landing in the Vanguard's favor. They were allowed to pick one fighter on their own side and one fighter from the other party to go toe-to-toe -to -toe against each other. 
Gerald decided that he should go against the person who looked the least smart. <laughs> and decided to go up against Titus Quicksteel, the half-orc paladin. Little did Gerald know that <laughs> Titus was able to jump uh, all the way up into the air where Gerald thought he was safe on his broom. And little did Gerald know that Titus could counter spell magic. Both of them down to one hit point each. It came down to a final moment and a final Eldritch Blast that took down Titus Quicksteel. Classic. Close. Classic. Very close. Both of them having used their magical capabilities and racial features to stay on that one hit point when they should have been knocked down. <laughs> But Gerald was revealed as the victor. The vanguard won the tickets to go to a dinner with the awe. They checked their spoils from winning at this arena, having been uh, having been granted a hundred and fifty platinum coin cash prize, along with a potion, a magical potion, and a set of armor. The party voted. Arthur lost. And he was made to don the golden scale mail armor. <laughs> <laughs> the idea being that while they were talking to the king, he could use the armor's innate magic to see if there were if there was a golden dragon anywhere nearby. To their surprise, the armor did not pick up any trace of dragon. As the awe over a beautiful dinner from his throne, kept asking the party about Jalira and her plans, trying to gain as much information as possible, seemingly having had the night to think on whether or not to bring this information to Dionysus, the Golden Ur Dragon. The Or, Dylan Florian, stepped down from his throne and said that if the party really thought they could defeat Jalira, then he should be no problem. As he flipped their table, it went by their eyes, and okay, as it went tight. overhead... <laughs> I feel like he's allowed to flip it. <laughs> no, people, I've been thinking. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, you've been thinking I'm, gonna, this, I'm just I'm just gonna I'm just gonna like road you I'm sorry in advance, but I'm gonna call you out. <laughs> can we just can we just agree on one thing here, everyone? For someone who's always asking, can we play now when we go on tangents, Roju does have a knack for interrupting with very, very pointed jokes. <laughs> Can we just can we just take a moment to call out the hypocrisy? Of Roju? Uh, we need that on a t-shirt. The hypocrisy of Roju, <laughs> and with him drinking have, his milk. If we Roju, have that on our shirt, we'd also need a a what? Cons or actions have consequences or something like that? <laughs> yeah, it's just, on the front. It says your actions have consequences. On the back, it says the hypocrisy of Roju. No, on the back, it's George. <laughs> George. Yeah. No, Roju, Roju, I love you. I just mm. felt like that was the perfect moment. Mm. <laughs> just because, because let's just be real. You've had a couple. You've had a couple. I mean, and I. To be fair, I was just about to say, roll initiative, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I figured this was already a confrontation anyway, so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm gonna need you all to roll the initiative because I'm ready to roll uh, here. We're gonna go right. to the battle camp. Yeah, and we're gonna Unfortunately, see. Unfortunately, I chose to roll the slow one because I uh, am a fool. Time to roll initiative. For some reason. Time to roll. Go. I'm just a silly little guy. Nana! Final, final fantasy music. Dun, 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 so, for those of you who don't know, um, the other day. Uh, Arthur won an, a, an advantage with his initiative roll because he died first in Sons of the Forest. 
<laughs> yes. Um, Arthur gets to roll with initiative. Died. No, with advantage. Uh, yeah. By the way, Rudy got a two, which means he got a one. So he <laughs> is oh, not ready for this. I love that minus one. I rolled, my, I rolled a natural 20, so I have a 24. <laughs> okay. I got a five, so don't feel uh, too bad, Ozzy. <laughs> uh, Please don't make George go first. <laughs> what did Gerald get? Oh, it didn't go through. Uh, it didn't go through. Not for me, at least. I don't like yeah, going first, George. I'm fine with uh, second. Just never do the pew pew. I think that was pretty much exactly, if not less, than what I got before, okay. so we'll go with this. I'm just going to double check. Arthur rolled with advantage. You got an 18. Yep. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> fun, George. So, so, actually, very apt. The mm. only person realizing immediately that the king has changed shape. And why does the camera keep just minimizing itself for me? I'm angry now. As the table goes up into the air, blocking all of your eyesight, eye lines for a moment, George is the only one who can tell that the king, the awe, changes his form into that of a dragon. George, you are first up. Aw, yeah. I wanna go first. <laughs> You don't have a choice. <laughs> I know. Great. Don't worry about it. You're gonna be great. <laughs> I have stage fright. Nah, just roll a performance check. You'll be fine. That's how it works, right? The world is your stage and all the dragons nearly oh. or something. I, heard that. I wanna use I wanna use my future detect thoughts on him. Actually, you. Ooh. Oh shit! You want to detect thoughts? Yeah. Okay, so uh, you get surface thoughts uh, right out of the gate, I think, without having to pry. Yes. The surface thoughts that you get are maybe, maybe these folks can do it. Ooh. I'm not gonna pry. I don't want to piss them off. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you want to piss off the dragon bear about the fight. Remember that the whole that word consequences. We'll just keep mm. thinking consequences. I am yet to dig mm. deeper. I am because I know the moment I dig deeper, I'm going to fail. No, you dug deeper on the dude that we found was a spy, remember? Yeah, so we're kidnapping yeah. the king. Oh, yeah, but they but they also yeah. but they also immediately know. Yes, they do know. So, so yeah. I, yeah. Uh, that is your action, I believe. So I have a bonus action now. Mm -hmm. Let me see how much meta magic I have left. See if I can make a spell a bonus action. Uh, well, you you did yeah, technically cast time. a spell. The tech thoughts is a spell. Oh damn it! Even with it being the future one, it counts as a spell. Yes, it is. It still counts dang. as casting a spell. So, but you could quicken a cantrip if you wanted to. Also, do remember that you're all pretty close up to the dragon because you were all just sitting at mm. a dining table. Yeah, within close proximity of each other. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, you should be able to see on the map that you're all neatly lined up in I, front I of the like dragon. Surely the party, after being breathed on several times by several dragons now, have Actually, learned their lesson. Uh, I think we should clump up! <laughs> <laughs> Together, team. <laughs> he can't I, breath I us can't all. move. A bonus action, right? You can what? I can't move and do a bonus action. Can I? Sure, you can. I want to move a little bit away from the group. A little bit. How much? <laughs> how far away from the group? As much as I can move, <laughs> and still get my bonus action, because I want okay. to still do. Uh, I want to give someone a. Uh, Bardic Inspiration still, and then I'm going to... Who are you giving Bardic Inspiration? Rudy, because we need okay. to heal. <laughs> okay, what do you tell Rudy? Rudy, I'm counting on you to keep us alive. Don't get eaten this time. Don't die this time. I believe in you. Please, for the love of... You've gotten eaten three times today, I think. Just don't make it a fourth. Excuse me, I've only gotten eaten once. But that's besides... You the... say that... And it's immediately as you take a step back, the tail swings around towards you, George. And you are going to take an attack of opportunity from the tail. 
Uh, it is a natural one for nice. the dragon. Oh. Not, He's not trying very hard. The dragon did not anticipate that someone would be able to move as quickly as George did, realizing this happening. Um, the king thought he was going to get the jump on all of you, but George is just a bit too quick on his feet. And you can move. How far away do you want to move? Uh, I want to be out of attack of opportunity range. I want to be out of, like, range completely. I want to get away from it. Okay. Five, as much ten, as possible. With 15. still being able to... Uh, yeah, that should get be good. back there. Yeah, that should be good. Uh, Is there any cover there at all? Uh, there's a little bit of cover, yes. There's, like, pillars and some pews. I'd, I'd like say if you duck down, you get, cover, like, half yeah. cover. Yeah, yeah. You I would definitely like to get... do that then. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, at the end of your turn, George, uh, the awe is going to use a legendary action to make a tail attack against... I'm going to roll a die for this. Arthur. That's what you so get here we go, Arthur. As as you it do. is a 20 to hit. Nah, that misses. Easily. <laughs> Easily misses. No, I saw his sheet. That's it, though. I'm the Does sheet. It, though? Look, look, <laughs> it's, it, it, I might be misplacing about seven, um, uh, uh, three of my armor classes to meet that, so. Uh, okay, okay. But, uh, I can find them somewhere real quick. 17. <laughs> 17. Yeah, they're just, like, uh, scattered, you know? They're just, like, around. Yeah. You take 15 points of bludgeoning damage as this massive golden tail covered in fins and spices, spines slams into Arthur. And all of you Ow. just s step to the side. All of you managing to duck as the tail just slams into Arthur and knocks you back about ten feet. You just grind backwards. The chair falls into the ground. It is now the lair action. Oh, shit. Not another lair. No. Oh, no. Well, so as all of this is happening, you see all of you up close, see the dragon's eye glimmer gold, going from white with just these gold irises that go completely gilded, and then return to normal. And the dragon just sighs and hisses. <gasps> <sighs> and the dragon, until the next lair action, has advantage on all attack rolls, ability checks, and saving throws. As it has glimpsed ah. the future and gauged your ability. Right. It is now Ooh. the awe turn, and the awe is Ooh. immediately going to just take a deep breath. Of course he is! <laughs> oh no. The trial begins! Don't do it! <laughs> we don't like it! And you see, bulging up through the throat, this just as the skin and hide stretches, you see golden light shimmering through. As the mouth opens, this gout please of golden acid, please flame be acid. Shit. <laughs> just shoots out <laughs> across. Uh, I'm just going to double check. Uh, do, 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 do. It is a 60 foot cone. No, it's a cone! Uh, I hate the cones. However, hate considering how close you all are, I'm just double checking some stuff. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> So, uh, now I'm glad, George. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Natural 20 yeah, for the win. I'm gonna, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Woo! ask Gerald, no, Gerald, Arthur, and Nana for dexterity saving throws. Heck. As his golden flame just rolls out. Uh, you do have resistance, Arthur, because of yes. the armor. Liar. Nice. Also, the, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but both dragon armors give advantage against breath weapon, dragon breath weapons i believe i thought it was just yes, acid but, but we'll double check no no uh, no it's uh no that's a frightful presence i believe it's against a frightful presence do, do you guys want i'm checking yeah I, I'm, I'm looking right now uh i do know it's a frightful oh, presence. you would you had frightful and, presence no, and, breath and, weapons. and breath weapons of dragons yep yes okay so so arthur you do have advantage oh my gosh so it's just nice. me that's fucked. Don't worry about it. No, no, it's me as well. Yeah, I'm not getting hit at all. Oh, really? Yeah, roll it. Oh, wow. Well. Oh, okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so... Uh, Gerald and Nana, you both take full damage. Fuck. Wait on me. What? I'm ready. 20? I'm ready. Oh. Yeah. Both of you 
Because I assume I don't get any advantage versus magic on that, right? Uh, no, you would not. This yeah. is not oh, technically oh. a magical effect. Oh, yeah, I was yeah. excited. That's you okay. just reminded Why? me about the gnome thing, where you get an advantage on. Uh, yeah. No, it's okay. Yeah, well, this was a dexterity. You it get was dex instead on... of intelligence. So, as well. yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So a yeah, 20 yeah. doesn't get away from it. Nope. Which means Rudy does, physically it... cannot avoid that attack. He... Yeah. Holy shit. But <laughs> Gerald and Nana take 66 points of fire damage. Why does it have to be fire? Arthur, Arthur <sighs> takes yeah. 33 oh, halved to 60. Okay. Yes. Uh, yeah, this is fine. Yeah, I've... I mean, this is totally. We have a new channel out. Um, I've and got we might be moving into a <laughs> when campaign dukes comes very, very soon. <laughs> and uh, the dragon is then going to take to the air, flapping its wings. The fire is immediately put out by the immense force of wind that comes down as it is going to fly 20 feet up into the air. Oh. I'm going to mention now that uh, the, the roof in here is 40 feet up. Just so oh, that everyone okay. knows. Yep, yep, yep. Good to cool. know. Good to know. <clears throat> so the dragon takes to the air, flapping its wings. It is Arthur Orblet the third's turn. Arthur Orblet is ready. Did um, you hear what I said about damage amount? Ah, uh, sorry, no. Uh, Sixteen. Easy. Because you took half from succeeding and then half from fire resistance. Awesome. All right. Yeah, so you took Arthur. 16 points of fire damage. It is now your go as the dragon has started beating its wings and it's now keeping a distance about 20 feet up into the air in the throne room. Uh, Arthur's backing up and probably going the other side of the room of George. How far do you want to go? Uh, I've got... 35 feet, so let's go. 15, uh, 20, 25, 30, 35. If you get all the way back here, you're pushed up against the wall of the throne room. Just at the back. out of healing range. Excellent. <laughs> I think um, you're out of bardic inspiration range yeah, as well. I think you're just outside you're of 60. Out of a lot of ranges there, Orb. Oh. Well, he's also out of ranges. breath weapon range. He's also out of breath Maybe. weapon range. Just but also, he took Maybe. like next to no damage from that breath weapon. So I, I was gonna say, what are your ranges? He is an archer, though. Oh, I mean, right. for, for, for an AOE heal, thirty. Arthur I mean. moves one step back in. He'll go thirty feet instead of thirty-five. Okay. All right. Is he within he... sixty of me now? Uh, yeah, he was never out of sixty. Sixty is oh, long. Oh, looks like he was just out of it. I might right. just not be seeing the squares correctly though, because it's a little. It's okay. Arthur is throwing his bow out and he's taking a shot. Yes. Nice. Go ahead. Aim and lose. Aim and lose. 15 will not hit. The first shot you fire just glances up its golden scales. Try harder. Arthur just pouts a little bit and he goes, <laughs> hmm, this guy's an ass. And no one fires. Uh, for 27. 27 will hit. Uh, he took you do not get there. sneak 15, attack. 15. 15 points of piercing damage. Uh, the arrow managed to hit one of the soft bits of its uh, still recovering distended uh, neck. You managed to hit a soft bit. And I'm going to say, those of you up close, uh, maybe not Gerald, but Nana and Rudy, <laughs> you definitely see that from where the arrow hit, I don't know exactly if it's because of dragon physicality, but the liquid that comes out and drips to the ground, a couple of driblets just <laughs> are pure gold. Hmm. Is that the end of your turn, Arthur? You still have a bonus action. No. So Arthur is going to prepare the spell, uh, second level spell. No, no. Fuck it. Let's go third. Let's go third, the herbal spell of Hail of Thorns. Um, okay. The next roll. Uh, and okay. he goes, look, I tried harder. And you got hit. As a taunt. 
Very well. Um, I'm going to say make make a persuasion check. <laughs> uh, Gerald, you're up next right. with Nana after. Okay. That's no 11. Worries. 11 doesn't react to your taunt. Uh, Gerald, it is your go. Yeah. Um, all right. So can I move without taking a attack of opportunity from where I am? I don't know. Can you? Action. I'm going to say you don't know. You haven't really fought a lot of dragons. I mean, we were. Yeah, fine. <laughs> you, I, I don't think you've actually fought a full-on dragon. You probably did see it take a swipe at George, but I think that's yeah. pretty much the only clue you would have. About you know, like, you know he took a swipe a at George. Yeah, I know he took a swipe at George. That, that, that's enough information. Um, okay, what I'm going to do mm -hmm. is we want to move... Uh, oh, actually, what, what Gerald does... Um, I mean, a lot has happened in, in a very couple of seconds here, so like, dragon sort of flips, the, well, guy flips the table suddenly there's a yeah. dragon ah! and then suddenly there's breath weapon ah! and, then, <laughs> and then all hell's breaking loose um, all hell is breaking loose yeah he, he looks around to try and make eye contact with anyone yeah, you've got Rudy next to you. You've got Nana fairly close. Uh, Arthur and George has like bolted off immediately, separating, taking opposite ends of um, the. How do we take it? Like um, the part of the throne room that is more for um, what's the word? What's the word? I've completely forgot. Uh, the presentation area where people would stay, sit, stand, sit. Um, I I can't words today. Uh, okay, well, well Gerald's just gonna like very quickly um, yell to to Nana and Rudy. Uh, I'm gonna put a barrier. You in or out? In I'm or wherever out. he's not. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might have to get out to, in order to Just heal. Just in or out was oh. the time we've got. In or out. I don't know what uh, that means. Uh, out. I'm going to say in. All right. So I'm going to move away from Rudy. Um, okay. And essentially, I want to get to a spot that will get Nana within a 10-foot bubble. Um because essentially yeah. I'm going to cast Wall of Force and uh, put a... It's got a 10-foot radius, uh, and mm -hmm. I'm going to make the dome um, to cover both me and Nana. Okay, so you're putting up a Wall of Force around you and Nana. Yes. Very well. Uh, um, yep. And how big was it again? It's a 10-foot radius, so 20 diameter. Ten diameter? No, it's a ten radius. Radius, okay. And my pen is dead. Oh. You need a new pen. I need new pen. New pen. Who this? New pen, new who this? <laughs> uh, why is all pens bad? There we go. Ah, there we go. Here we go. Okay. I I have an idea. It would be something like this. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, Wonderful. So, it's gorgeous. So for those don't, of you playing at home, it's an invisible wall of force. We love that. Um, springs into existence. Um, blah, 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 blah. Sizes, shapes, whatever. Um, mm -hmm. Nothing can physically pass through the wall. It's immune to all damage. Can't be dispelled by dispel magic. Um, only disintegrate can get rid of it. Uh, also extends mm -hmm. to the ethereal plane, so they can't even travel via that. I can shoot past that, right? With how that is, where it's positioned, Josie? Uh, you might have to take a few steps around, considering it's a dome-shaped. 
Okay. Well, it, yeah, it's it's ten foot high. So if the dragon, as long as the dragon is flying that high. high, it should. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna say with with its height, you can you can hit it. Yes. Okay. You can shoot Thank over you. the dome. I just wanted to make sure so I can get my next turn planned out. Yeah, but this also means that spells cannot go out either. I believe. Well, we discussed Unless this last it, time. Um, yeah. So it depends if, on what type a, of spell it is. Yes, but I'm exactly. saying that if it, it goes both kind of way. No. Yes. If it if it's okay. just something that happens at a location that's not within the dome, then then we said it was fine. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Cool. As, as long as it doesn't need to go mm. from the caster and yes. out. Yes. It's all about yeah. the point of origin. But, yeah. but what I was asking was more like, does the spell specify that you can do shoot out? But I don't think it does. It's like mm. both ways no, closed. It's it's just. Nothing can physically pass through the wall, period. But as okay. long as I'm aiming above, I can do spells and gun. You can. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, don't forget. That's what okay. I wanted to uh, do. You've got a bit of movement left. If we want Gerald, you've got your bonus action. You have to actually cast a spell. Mm -hmm. So, uh, no, enters and features. I'm not really going to do anything with my bonus action this turn. Um, mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to. Oh! Remember to actually drink a fucking potion. Oh, you do. know that might there help. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's better than nothing. Mm. Uh, oh yeah, definitely. It is. It certainly is. Rudy's only yeah, got so one big heal in the tank. So. I've got a yeah. I've got a yeah. superior potion of healing in my pack there. Superior. So that should be eight d four plus eight. Correct. I have three health potions. If you need that. them, you need to come to jump. <laughs> yep, just slam uh, dunk those. 27. Yeah. Oh my god, did you just double your hit points? Sure did. <laughs> <laughs> okay. nice. I got 54 nice. now, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Wonderful. In, in that Nana, case. it is your go, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Gerald sort of that, shakingly takes the bottle out. That <laughs> changes what I was going to do because now it looks like you're okay. Rudy never got touched by the fire. It was just Nana. Um, it was just Arthur us two. And, uh, yeah, you two, you yeah, two took a really bad hit. Thing. Arthur looked like he was fine. He managed to uh, duck low immediately. He was, okay. al he was also like pushed back by the tail. So he was already like in a backwards motion when the fire came. He just went with the momentum down under and the armor protected him. Okay. In but that you cannot case... cast spells out of this. You can. It depends on what you want to do, but you are within this barrier with Gerald. Yes. Yes. Um. In that case, can I ask? Um. Would a spell? Let's see. As long as the point of origin isn't you, it should be fine. Yeah. Oh. Um, well, in that case, uh, fantastic, and I would just like to check the distance. Um, so where mm -hmm. is the throne again? Uh, the throne is currently, uh, underneath where the dragon is flying. I don't really have a prop for it. Oh, okay, that's, that's But fine. it that's... is so I'm, just I'm below where the king is. Awesome. Okay, so you said that Nana would have seen that he's, like, kind of dripping a little bit of gold. Um, yeah, I... from where the arrow hit him in the neck, there's a bit of gold. A bit dripping. of gold. Okay. We're gonna be, this is a long we're shot. Make me bank off this. Drag. I would like to erupt Earth on the throne. Okay. So what does erupt Earth do? Interesting. So it's just choose a point you can see on the ground within range. So that's like 120 mm -hmm. feet. So I should be in range. A yeah, fountain yeah. of churn churned Earth and stone erupts in a 20 foot cube centered on that point. Each creature in that area must make a dexterity saving throw. Probably not him because he's above. It only goes up to 20 feet, so maybe he could dodge it. I don't know. He is um, he is just above that. He is I'm not aiming for him. Above. I just okay. want to aim for the throne. <laughs> just going to piss oh, him off. Shit. Okay. <laughs> no, I have a theory. I feel like maybe that's he, the He layer. flips the table, you flip his chair? Yeah, like, I'm, I just want to aim for his throne. Um, I'm going to be like, fine, fair is fair. I was eating. Um, I mean, he was using his throne arm as a table, so really, we're just flipping his table. Yeah, honestly, I, I approve. Okay. Well, I, um, like, I don't, I don't know how to like really because there's a deck save, but the throne probably won't be moving. You know what? So. You know what? The throne is on top of where the ground, so you just charge the ground underneath. You plant your feet. And you just will the ground, the stone at the bottom of this temple, upwards, and the throne is 
dislodged, and you see the gold where the gold has poured out. As the stones erupt upward, the throne is la launched up, and I am going to have have him roll a, a dexterity save against the throne that is being launched. <laughs> <laughs> I did get a natural 20, so oh, he immediately <laughs> bats his, his wings, and the throne is, like, slammed down to the ground, so it launches <laughs> up. It slams back down, and the throne is now, like, lodged sideways. It's a bit crooked. It's bent. <laughs> the back rests, and it's just, doom, back to the ground <laughs> with a heavy metal sound. <laughs> oh, that worked better than I thought. Disrespect for the burning. <laughs> <laughs> We were now leaving. we're even. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, I'm also going to have a look at Gerald. He probably still looks pretty battered. So as my bonus point, I'm going to spend four uh, four dice. Uh, so you can pay have four d6 of healing, and oh. then you also get four temp hit points. Oh. The balm of the summer court. Yes. Awesome. How many wonderful how so many i believe four, four d6 four d6 healing and four temp nice. oh did you want me to roll that uh, oh yeah uh yeah you probably okay. roll uh, my roll's not been lucky today oh, i would super just roll slow. two ones and that but i mean I okay. was, I was so, well that's happening <laughs> rudy it is your Fine. go right so okay, rudy to move <laughs> does not provoke the attack of opportunity because he's 20 feet in the air correct as far as you're aware. Excellent. Rudy will... Oh, um, doesn't want to be in line, but... Uh, Rudy wants to be in a spot that's dead center between everybody, if that makes sense. All so the party members. you want members. to run, like, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 over there, maybe? Yes, but one... Yes. Yes, I think that's going to be where he's going to have to be. Uh, and then he's going to call out to George. He's going to go, George, can you do that thing again? I do many things. <laughs> the big thing. <laughs> the thing that... The, and he mimics the gun. I had other plans, but I can. <laughs> Excellent. Because I'm going to make him regret you doing the thing. And uh, Rudy... For I think the actual first time in this I entire campaign, he's gonna channel divinity. But the specific Ooh. channel divinity you have never used before. Yes, this is. I'm just locating it again. Uh, okay, so this is the path to the grave channel divinity, and this is a curse. So Rudy essentially curses the ore with vulnerability to whatever hits him next. Oh. Um, <clears throat> uh, so he says a prayer to Ergothoa and he essentially in he directs that prayer into um, into the ore and uh, into the uh, George's next attack. Um, so in terms of the actual effect um uh, until the end of your next turn, uh, you, whenever you or an ally hits the cursed creature with an attack, the creature has vulnerability to all of that attack's damage, and then the curse ends. Okay, I will point out that what the gun does is not an attack. Because ah. when the word uh, the wording what it says uh, hits with an attack means it requires an attack roll. Right. So it does not apply. But this is still it will still You'll linger. Still pop. Yeah. Until That's okay that happens in that case so the next the next attack okay. against the ore until rudy's turn deals double damage no well, that's the... okay because that probably means orb then or brother <laughs> rudy yeah. has the exact arthur, same discussion with arthur arthur <laughs> are you gonna do the thing <laughs> you know the arthur thing and, and rudy mimics firing the boat <laughs> Everyone okay, so says we're doing the thing today. Yeah. And you didn't say it to George, you said it to Arthur. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Uh, okay, uh, but I'm going uh, to do the original. You do your original thing, yes. Uh, Arthur sort of goes, like, he's, he's already got it. He's got the bow. He's like, he's he's going 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 and he's like, like sort of got the hilt of the sun, so like, do the thing. Yeah, yeah the, the thing. Excellent. You <laughs> do the thing. 
He's gonna, into, he's gonna regret you doing the thing. Um, and because that actually is no action, believe it or not. Um, <laughs> Rudy, I believe channeling divinity is uh, like whenever you use channel divinity, it is an action. Oh, it says no action, in brackets. It does actually. Yeah, you're right. It's it's, it's no. A... It, is, it says under channel divinity path of the grave one action. Oh, it then says it there. Okay, so that's uh, the action. Okay, cool. No, that's cool. That's okay. all right. Otherwise, no it would have been. Yeah, I was gonna bonkers. say that's like ridiculous. Um, that's fine because um, oh, I don't want to lose that heal though. All right, in that case, um, Rudy is going to cast um healing word on Nana because Nana took the breath attack as well, right? I did. Yeah, and you, you, yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna heal up Nana. Um, Thank you. Wait, no, the spell can't oh, go through the barrier. Not. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes, you it. can, because this is this is not something that originates from you. This is Nana hearing a word. Right. Okay. All right. Cool. In okay. that case, um, yeah. Rudy's, Rudy's healing word this time is. Oh, I really hope this works. I'm not sure how this works with the barrier, but we'll give it a shot, Nana. Hopefully you feel better. <laughs> She's like, oh, all um, right. And you... One of those words was the healing word. Yeah, one of them. I'm not going to show which yeah. one. It's only 14, but, you know, we'll take that. You know what? We'll, we'll, we'll take, take it. 14? We'll take 14 it. is still 14. better already. Yeah. Um, so, as this is happening, you all see these spectral skeletal hands separate from almost nowhere, and they're all just clawing and pulling at the dragon seemingly trying to pull it down into some unseen abyss and you can see it's struggling and looking around frantically it's at the end of your turn rudy yeah that's pretty much everything he's done a full turn the, for a change yeah at the end of your turn the oil is going to use uh two legendary actions uh, no one is around to really be affected by this, but part of... So you see the awe flaps his wings hard, hard, and then flies up over to where Rudy is. And is uh -oh. looking down towards you, Rudy. Why do I just see... I'll have you know, I I've taste terrible. Yeah, so the awe just comes over. <laughs> Cute trick, mortal. No, it's not a trick. What, George, ha your what happens next is the trick. Tasha's mind whip. What do you need from me? DC uh, 16 intelligence. DC 16 intelligence, say? Uh, I got a 20. Well, I had a feeling. He is more boy. That tonight's gonna be... You any, uh, only take what? five points of damage then, because you don't get any of the effects. And Heck. you take half damage. Uh, yes. But, since you didn't get a 30, now I know it's possible. <laughs> I did not get a 30, no. I do I, love 20, that. 20 means it's close enough where you can fail still. <laughs> yes. Nice. Yes, it is. Yeah, I like That's that. That's what I need to know. I'll be coming for you soon, child. As you is... feel this psychic effect take you, like, reaching into the mind. He's not a child. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it is then the... Like it is six. Oh, I still get my bonus action. I'm going to go you ahead do. and get my gun together. Okay. Because hey. that takes a bonus action. Yep, so again, you rip up these two pieces of sleek metal and stone from the holsters on your hips, and you uh, shove one into the other, you turn it, twist it, you up the handle of one, and Do you I extend the barrel. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. There, there'd probably be a little bop at the end, just to sort of knock it into place. I, I tried not definitely. to say There's yeah, definitely a bop, to... there's definitely a pull, there's definitely a twist. Did I have Those? to As you... it? Uh, yes. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I'm done. I'm done. It is your gun. You can do whatever actions you want to it. You can do whatever you want. But as... As it, the dragon is in the air, 
It is another lair action. You all see that golden shimmer from the the all's eyes disappear, and they go back to normal. As he's hovering above you, Rudy. It says, "Time for a timeout." And you see this golden light and vel like erupt from it as it looks down upon you. And I'm gonna need you to make a charisma saving throw. I'll have you know, I can be really charismatic when I want to. Not this time, though. Fifteen. <laughs> Fifteen is exactly what you needed. You oh, felt no. this before, as you were just about to be bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have you know, I can be exactly as charismatic as I need to be in this exact time. Infuriating. As it is I tend Paul's to be. turn, I'm going to roll to see if the breath weapon comes back. Oh, please don't no, do that. No, no, we don't want that. We don't want it that. does not. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> so instead, the awe is going to land on top of you, Rudy. I am oh. going to Just make you regret this. Down. The last time something sat on me, I burrowed through it. Bam. As it slams down <laughs> around all like of you. A lot of monsters, I gotta say. <laughs> As it slams down on you, uh, it does drop 20 feet, so I am going to roll. Uh, you take, you and the all both take six points of bludgeoning damage. Oh. <laughs> okay. As it just drops down on you. Sure. And then you just hear, <laughs> as it roars out, and it's going to use its uh, frightful presence. And I'm going to need all of you to make wisdom saving throws. Uh, I believe, Nana, you have, is it resistance it, or immunity? Uh, I think I had immunity and then we changed to resistance. Okay, and Rudy and Arthur, you both have advantage because of your armor. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, I just have advantage, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you that's... do have advantage, yes. Yeah, advantage uh, but I'm going to need yeah. everyone to make that wisdom saving throw. Wisdom yeah. is what we're good at. And it's, a, it's a fear effect, isn't it? It is a fear effect. So I'm going to have disadvantage. Seven. Yeah. Uh, it's a bad effect I have to see, right? Oh, yes. No, this Thankfully, is... Uh, a bad roll. This, is, uh, this fear effect is at the dragon's choice. Like, it's it's a visual auditory... Uh, so me, let's see, what do we got? 20, 20, I just want to uh, see if I get an 20, 20, 23 20 was my higher one. Okay, I'm gonna need to know if anyone got a 21 or above. Oh god, no. <laughs> uh, I told Arthur? Well, even with this advantage. Arthur got 15. With okay. advantage. Okay. Yeah, with advantage. Arthur doesn't oh, have power wisdom. Okay, so. Thing that gets rid of fear for us. <gasps> yeah, no. if you still had that charm you gave to Sophia. No, yeah. Sophia, Amanda? No, Amanda. Everything's fine. Uh, so, anyone who got below a 21, you are feared. You are afraid of the dragon. All of your all of your attack rolls have disadvantage. Um, let me double check. You have disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls, as long as you can see the dragon, and you cannot move closer to it willingly. You do get to um, make saving throws at the end of your turn. It's okay, Arthur. You can be afraid of it. You just still need to shoot at it. I mean, at least they're all ranged, right? Is actually <laughs> After the roar is done, <laughs> it slashes out towards you, Rudy. <laughs> so coming towards you now is a bite attack followed by two claws. What did breaks. I just say about how I taste? You taste like jerk. But you were... You were not afraid of it, if I recall. No, no, Rudy just no. is standing there. It's like he's yelling at it. The first attack is a thirty-one to hit. Nice. Okay, Rudy stops yelling and goes. <laughs> <laughs> second, attack is an eight, second attack is an eighteen. Rudy uh, follows that uh, with a. And yeah. You know, and the third attack is a twenty-seven. And Rudy follows that second oomph with a. Oh dear. Okay. So. As it lands on you, you're pushed back by the immense size of this thing. It roars, and as it's finished roaring, the head snakes down and just bites down on you for 25 points of piercing damage. You and you then take another 
28 points of damage as it swipes towards you with two of its claws. Sorry, what was the second one? The second? Uh, 25. Oh, another 25? It's the okay. total for the two claws, yes. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. And it says, If this is all you have, then he will die alone. Arthur Orbo the Third, it is your turn, followed by Gerald. Oh, wow. Arthur, do the thing! Do it! Arthur is like. Uh, and shoots. Uh, oh, <laughs> shoot. Uh, uh, gonna, 27 to hit. Yep. And then he's going. Ah! He's just grinning the whole time. Uh, so that's a nine, but he does have. You do get sneak attack, so yes. Oh, yes. And sweet. it's vulnerable. So it's and it's double damage, so it takes nice. 30, 30 damage from Hang on, the arrow. I still in... have my Hail of Thorns. Is he prepared? Yes, the Hail of Thorns will not deal double damage. Hmm. It comes through with a damage total of uh, 25. Uh, is it the initial target that makes a deck saving uh... throw or anything? Oh, no. I think. Uh, Thanks. Yeah. Why is it always hail of thorns? Um, always friends, it. Blah, blah, always blah. Uh, five feet of it must make a dexterity to seven throw. Yeah, that's Rudy. Yeah, what? well, sorry, Rudy. What? He, even <laughs> when you're not cursed anymore. <laughs> well, I already had it loaded. I had to shoot it. We're going away. to have a talk about this hail of thorns business. Uh, yeah. Natural 20! Oh! <laughs> oh! I only take half damage. Or oh. <laughs> uh, let me double check. Crazy Rainer attack. The target of the attack in each year. Okay, so I am making a deck save for the dragon as well against that 25 yes. points of damage. So as you shoot, the arrow impacts the dragon just under the wing and then just explodes thorns outwards. Um, the dragon, however. Uh, on a dexterity saving throw, it only gets a 15, and oh. it's going to use one of its legendary resistances. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. That's good. We whittled those um, down. That's very good. So, 12 points of damage to yep. Dragon and uh, Rudy. Rudy. Yep. As it sprouts out, and Dragon roars angrily. Ah! You uh, Arthur just continues to scream again, ah, and shoots another one. <laughs> <laughs> 21. Uh, 21 hits. <laughs> and then he's just, ah, hold on. <laughs> uh, 11. 11 uh, points of damage. It's yeah, and you, no, it's not doubled. Rudy, Rudy and Arthur, the two of you now also see wherever these arrows hit, where you puncture the hide and the scales, this golden liquid thick dripples out of the dragon's body. Um, so with the Hail of Thorns, Arthur's like, uh, that was bad, let's get lightning! Jesus. Okay, you're charging the lightning arrow. Are you moving anywhere or staying put where you are? Uh, I'm too scared. Okay, so you're staying put? Yep. Yep. Uh, at the end of your turn, uh, the dragon Does is going to Does he get to, to roll to break the, break the... Fear effect? Oh yes, you make make a wisdom saving throw. Uh, do I get a minute again? Yeah. Yeah. All right. It is still the the frightful presence that's, effect. That's the first roll of eighteen. Come on, you second roll this. of twenty two. Oh, you are no longer afraid after shooting it twice. Uh, with the damage you're dealing, you start to get your confidence back. Like, why why are you being afraid? Why am I why? screaming so much? I'm good at this. You're good that at is, hitting that is me. a fair question. <laughs> <laughs> but at the end of your turn, it is going to use the legendary action to just slam the tail down on Rudy. Oh, oh, you're just a big bully. 22 to hit. Stop bullying me. <laughs> 21 points of bludgeoning damage as it just slams you oh into God. the ground. Rudy must be getting low now. Yeah, a yeah, dead, just... dead man. I'm... How dare you? I am not dead. Gerald, it's your turn. <laughs> uh, all oh right. My God. Um, what have I got in the box? I've got no healing spells. I really need to burn these um, 
Let me just quickly have a look here. How about a nice, tasty mind sliver? A nice, tasty mind sliver? Hey, thank you so much for the double raid. It's Fate's Grip and Promethean. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Absolute, absolute champions. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. How's everyone doing? How are you all doing? Uh, Tilira, hello. Promethean, hello. Emily Cross Grace, hello. Welcome on in, everybody. Uh, hello, I'm the one down in this little corner down here. I'm like the tiny one down here that's waving. Um, hope you're all having a wonderful evening or day, depends on the time zone. And welcome into our D&D campaign named Dramonia. Um, <laughs> hey, the Antipodi, Potty, Antipodi D20. <laughs> Hello. Probably mispronounced that one. Please let me know if I, if I how badly I mucked that one up. Um, but yes, welcome on in, everyone. Um, as you can see, we're playing Dungeons and Dragons. We're actually fighting a dragon. Not in a dungeon, though. Normally, it's the reverse, but we're, we're actually fighting a dragon, which is great. Um, I've got to get back into the game, and I've got to get back to, to um, doing the roleplay and hopefully not taking any more damage, because I just took, like, 99% of my da my health in one turn, essentially. Um, but long story short, we're fighting a dragon. We're outclassed in every way, but we're scrappy, and we're going to do our best. Um, so we're, we're going to do our best, and we're going to see how this goes. Um, <laughs> um, and I will respond to everything else via the text chat because uh, we do try to keep these uh, these, these sort of sessions more streamlined, more you know deeper into the role play. Um, so thank you again for those amazing raids, and um, and uh, please enjoy your time. And also, if you have to run off to get food, sleep, or any of that good stuff, make sure you do that because that's important. Taking care of yourself is important. Um, and and I'll be here when you get back. <laughs> Hey, Fate's Grip and Emily Grace, thank you so much for the, the, the followers as well. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Uh, everyone mispronounced it. It's Antipodean D20. I will attempt that again as we go. I'm terrible with words and names. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> how's the stream going? Stream's going good, Emily. Took a lot of damage, but we're doing okay. Oh, thank you everyone for those followers. OzQuest and... Uh-oh, oh, here we go again. And... Well, Antipo Dian D20. Thank you. And to Lira 79. Thank you, everyone. It's all also, it's the being also Australian tide. Yeah, that also true. That's also true. Anywho, I'm gonna get back into the game. Um I will respond to everything via text chat. Ask all the questions. I'll shout out all my mates and everything like that um via the text chat as well. Um Enjoy. <laughs> and thank you again. Little vines kind of hold it in place. Um and she's going to beacon of hope. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We love a good Whoa, beacon of hope. That would be fantastic. Thank you, Nana. But, uh, Wait, considering actually, it's Nana, is it bacon of hope? Ooh, <laughs> delicious. It should be bacon of hope, actually. I do have a question, though. So that says yes. it's at will. Do you need a spell slot for it? No, it is. You can use it once per day oh, with your good. spell. Okay. Because I just saw that, like, all of the ones in that thing are gone. And I was like, oh, no. Okay. So that'll be my once per day. We, lo we yeah. love a once per day. Um, fantastic. Yes. And then she's going to look over at Rudy and go, yeah, I should probably do something about that. So she's going to give him some, uh, where are you? So we're going to use, um, six dice. So you can roll six D six, and then you also get mm -hmm. six temp hit points. What is the range on Beacon of Hope? 120 feet. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> then you can, you can hit everyone. Nice. But so, I can only do it like uh, one at a time. Yes. So as long as Nana is concentrating a beacon of hope, all healing received is maxed. Oh, Excellent. so do you yeah. just get like the automatic yeah. like 36 points? Yeah, full. Yeah. Oh, Everyone yeah. got 36 points. Well, no, well, you. you. Do. Oh, you. I even can better. Only do one at a time. So <laughs> even you get better. 36 points and then. Okay. Six, I'm not going to lie. If that is up on Rudy's next turn, we might be okay. Yeah. I'm seeing that dome, baby. It's I'm until it until Nana loses Nana concentration. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I'm yeah. gonna try my best. Alright, you might be okay. <laughs> okay. Is the, that the end of your turn, Nana? Uh yes, I'm not leaving that little okay. nope. <laughs> uh, at the end of your turn at the end of your turn, uh 
It is going to take another tail attack at Rudy. I, That's it just I, pinning you no, down now. He's just slamming bully. down. This is bullying, I say. Ah. Stop it. Don't. I, what? <laughs> bullying. I would like Arthur to make a wisdom saving throw. Huh. As Rudy, it is a natural 20 against you. Can I not cancel mm. that as well? You can. You can use your reaction to cancel that so it's just a regular hit. <laughs> so Rudy, in the midst of his screaming of bullying, bullying, I say, uh, he actually, <laughs> one of those sort of spectrally uh, skeletal hands slaps the tail slightly and just prevents it from, like, smacking Rudy's face. Okay, so you take 21 points of bludgeoning damage as it just, Ooh. the hands, whatever is left of those spectral hands, they gather up and they try to push the tail off. It breaks through, but impact is lessened. Arthur, you're brought back to a moment a couple of weeks ago, watching Rudy get pummeled down over no. and no. over no. and over. No. On your next turn, you can choose an action or a bonus action, not both. Ooh. As you feel your hands starting to shake oh yeah. rudy it's your turn bullying i say um <laughs> <laughs> and uh he immediately casts um he is gonna immediately cast so he is under the effect of um whatchamacallit the uh beacon yes yes okay he's gonna... also who else got frightened by the frightful presence earlier Besides me, George did. George and me. Okay. Uh, did you roll at the end of your turn, Gerald? Did you roll another save against it? <laughs> oh, you know I did. Okay. Did you clear it? Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, yes, Rudy. Go yeah. On. So he casts a mass. Wait. Do we need this? I don't know if we need it. George is not hurt yet. Uh, I'm like twenty under. No. You know what? I'm gonna. I feel like Nana's actually the most. I'm hurt gonna cast it at a lower zone. level um, mm -hmm. than I intended. Uh, we're gonna cast mass healing. Oh, it's not even. Mm. That because it's it's only a fifth level. Don't you worry. I'm saving up my little heal spells. Don't no, even no, no. worry. That's all right. Um, no. So Rudy's gonna cast mass healing word on. I'm um, just gonna double check. Up to six. Yeah. Uh, so. You yeah, you can reach everyone. Everyone yep. is within range. Cool. Um, so essentially, everyone is going to get uh, 13 hit points uh, if they need it. Uh, is anyone overhealed? Oh, me. Yeah, All hoping. 13 is overhealed, so oh, you can siphon it off, George. You you already I'm... used your... Oh, I... No, because it is your turn. You just got yeah, your reaction back. I just back. got the reaction oh, yeah. back. Oh, yeah. so, grab it. So nice. Rudy uh, continues to shout bullying, but as he's shouting, he's actually mentally casting a uh, mass healing word at everyone. Um, yeah. Every time he says bully. bully. Uh, <laughs> ignore the heal there. You will... Oh, wow, 11. That's pretty good. Um, Ignore the heal. No, it's remember, it's max heal. Yeah. Right? Because of Beacon of Hope. Yeah, I was just casting it in the, the tray. Okay. Oh, um, for the tracker. Yeah. yeah, it's for the tracker. So, um, yeah, so 13 to everyone. And then George, uh, when he, he when he points it at George, he then signals one of those spectral hands to, again, just sort of like... Sort of like it sort of like envelops George, but then like makes like a gathering motion and it just brings it back to Rudy. Um, that is not good for someone <laughs> still under the fear effect, Rudy. I <laughs> can't help it. It's how it looks. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's uh, that's pretty helpful. You need that's... to work on your aesthetics. It's either that or maggots. Okay. I don't. <laughs> at the end of your turn, Rudy. That was a bonus action. That was a bonus action. So, I love that. Um, as his free action, he looks he looks the dragon in the eye um, and goes, we're going to hurt you. And he channels divinity again. Oh, shit. Okay. So, um, it, because and he... it whispers quietly to you. I hope so. Um, and at the end of your turn, it's going to use its last legendary action for the turn to slam. Oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> Another natural 20. Rudy Oh, he's lost his You're reaction! Yeah. Shit, oh, no. <laughs> oh, 
you're old. You're, you're you got old. juiced up. You're you're old. You we say that. Mm. You can take it. Come on, Josie. Uh, hit me. Hit me. See. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hit yeah, me. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, I rolled really good on that first batch. Uh we will remember you. No, it's, you it's close though. It's 29 points of bludgeoning damage. We just healed that, so that's fine. He's still going. There we go. We're like a net neutral here. It's fine. <laughs> so, you, the juicy having been are... slammed, you felt yep. your rib cage cracking inwards. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Without your organs being withered and mm -hmm. scrumbled mm -hmm. like they are, you feel like a lung would have been pierced. And you just grabbed some of that healing that could have gone to George and inflated your chest, cracking your ribs back into place as it comes down just as you're about to feel the ribs Ooh. fuse back. Slam! You can crack back oh. down again. Also, did I mention you can't kill me? I'm invincible. Let's put it to the test. George, your turn. I'm gonna do the thing, AP. 86 plus 8 thing. Okay, so you're just firing the magic. Let's go. Magic. Let's go. Do you Roll hear me some the dice. pretty Do you hear the pretty dice goblin? That is 6, 10, 15, 20, 26 plus 8, 34. <laughs> 34 damage. points Can of you damage. imagine if we got like the vulnerability that. on that? That would have been beautiful. Yeah, so as you're being slammed down, uh, no one is really on that side, but George, you know, you, you aimed, you fired, you had a lock on, and there's this donut-shaped, like, crush into the dragon's side, and it's just pouring out this golden liquid now. And... The way the skin looks, it looks almost like broken ceramic. Mm -hmm. It's just, it it's broken in. It hasn't, like, created any gashes. It's just jagged and broken. Hmm. Anything uh, else on your turn, the... George? Uh, I'm going to use my bonus action to do my little, my little dashy dash away. Oh, you're dashy dashing? Away. My 10 feet of dash away preferably behind another pillar, but away from the dragon. Is that not when you cast a spell? This is expending spell slots. It's different. <gasps> really? Yes. Dang it. I'm asking. Oh, I is, I is think the, so. Is, is the I jump... I'm pretty sure it is. I am double checking. You know what? I'm gonna I'm allow it anyway as a recoil from the magic. You just <laughs> launched 10 feet backward. Yay! <laughs> Yay! We love it. We love it! Because it doesn't provoke an attack of opportunity. <laughs> Ooh, we do love yeah, that. so you just fire and just like step back, pushed against the wall. You're pushed like a couple of feet backwards. Anything then, else you want to do? Uh, uh, my save. <laughs> Yes, make your saving throw. That 17, you are still enough. afraid. You do have your movement if you want to, like, run further back. I want to go more. And I want to make okay. sure I'm behind a pillar. I want to... Uh, just... you get I to want my hear... partial cover. Yes, you get to here and you're... You feel like you've got some cover from the magical dome that Gerald has put up. Okay. That works. With that, yeah. we have a lair action. Oh no. I hate it here. As you see this golden liquid pouring out from all of these various wounds, there's suddenly the wings start vibrating, undulating. Rather than flapping, they just go and then a light <laughs> bursts out through the wings. And I'm going to need Arthur Rudy. Uh, Gerald and Nana to make constitution saving throws. Not constitution! Mm -hmm. Not... Well, I just moved. <laughs> oh, fuck me. I hate it. Um, Alright, I'm just gonna roll it on here. Ooh, this is Cheers. Magic is a jersey. Uh, this would be this well, would be a magical effect, yes. Oh, thank god. All right, uh, but not against intelligence, so never mind. Oh um, god, that was awful. Uh, Rudy, so I, I got... Rudy saved. Never mind. I'm, I'm telling this guy he can't kill me. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, oh, mine didn't so... come through, but yeah, I don't think it's high. No. 
did you roll digitally or physically? I rolled physically, and it was a 12. It was a 12. Okay, yeah. everyone except for Rudy are blinded. Ooh. As this, as these wings just explode in sudden light. Brilliant gold light. Um, Arthur, Nana, Gerald, your eyes just start <sighs> searing. You don't take any damage, but you are considered blinded Shit. until the next lair action. Oh, now Shoot. I understand why George Ooh. didn't have to roll. I thought it was just. No, you were move. you were no. also far far enough away. Oh, okay. uh, this is a very like localized effect, and I believe Nana was just within range of it. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think no. I I'm trying to see. Uh, no, Gerald and Arthur were both like just on the cusp. <laughs> but yes, I would I would have anyway asked you to roll with advantage or something. Yes, uh, I have George. advantage already against the yeah. effects that I have to see. Because <laughs> I am <have> blind. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. At the end of the lair action, as we come back to the awe, Dylan Florian, the Eclipser, we're going to go on a quick break because I got a pee and it is break time. Same, and All the right. pee is asking so nice. So, are we, yes. We're going to run the. <laughs> Three we're minutes. gonna run yep. some ads. Yep. Uh, we're gonna run some ads. We're all gonna go take toilet breaks, refill our drinks. We'll be back in a couple of minutes. Mm -hmm. Feel free to post any questions you have in the chat. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be taking them, and then we will uh, be coming back to when the awe takes his next turn. <laughs> yes. I'm going to say for the problem children in chat, I will not be here this time, so you cannot riot in my presence. <laughs> oh, heck. <laughs> oh, heck. <laughs> oh, heck. This is, you have caused this from your over-rioting. <laughs> Looking at you, Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going okay. to be chilling here. I will be right back. Oh. Ah, very good. <laughs> That's a very cute riot emote as well, Pemmy. <laughs> Hooray! Just hanging out in, in Josie's chat at the moment. How are you all doing? <clears throat> <laughs> I would encourage chaos as much as I like. <laughs> oh, hello, Rodu. You're still here? Yeah. Oh my god. I know. How are you feeling about this? Um, questionable. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go find my phone. Be right back. I think, I think honestly, things are gonna probably be okay. We've got. I, I think me and Nana are very well protected in in uh, in this particular spell bubble, and and I think with particularly with Nana protected, while the beacon of hope is up. Honestly, it's, it's just a really good combo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The the um the wall of the wall of force plus the um plus the beacon of hope. Um, very, very really good. Protective. Yeah, really good. Yeah, which is kind of like considering how the fight started with us just getting breathed on for sixty-six damage. It, <laughs> we we needed to we needed to go immediately on like recovery mode. So it's, I, I think I think we're stabilizing now and can sort of start to go on the offensive a little bit more maybe 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 although i can't see and i'm scared of things that i can see so i guess it i guess you thought. also know that you have your your little bubble like this is fine this is fine yeah 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 <laughs> everything's fine what do you mean yeah exactly i mean he could just regain his fire breath and Ah, but fire is physical, Josie. <laughs> yeah, fine. but everyone else. Uh, I mean, every, that's everyone else's problem. <laughs> imagine, imagine by the end of the fight, everyone's down and it's just sitting outside the dome, just staring <laughs> like at you. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and me and like, Nan are just plinking it with uh, non-targeted cantrips. <laughs> yeah, just, just like the blindness effect disappears and everyone's dead except for the two of you. <laughs> like, ah. <laughs> oh no. Hmm. It is, this did not go according to plan. <laughs> um, so, do you guys mind if I just quickly do a roll call? Because we got a, a double raid over here um, earlier. And I just I just want to make sure raid. everyone knows who everyone is. Um, so, we'll start uh, with Josie. If you want to quickly, you know, give us the... Give Hello! Us the, yep, there you go. <laughs> I'm Joseph Other. I'm the dungeon mistress of this campaign. I made this world mostly, and uh, we're we're having a good time. I'm an RPG streamer. You can find me at twitchtv Poser. And Roju. Hi, yeah, that's me. I'm Roju. Uh, I come from a channel called Participation Award, um, where I am, I guess, kind of on hiatus except for the D and D streams every Sunday, um, but. Uh, yeah, variety streaming, voice acting type stuff, and uh, various silliness when I am when I am doing the thing. Um, when the thing happens. Mm. When the thing happens, it does occasionally happen. Mm. I want it to happen more again, mm. but we're getting we're working on that again. But when it happens, it's amazing, and everyone should be there following participation oh. awards so that when the very, thing very happens, fun. everyone else does the thing, right? It's yeah, all about do doing things. We love the things. We love things happening. <laughs> um, and who do you play, Roger? In this oh. campaign, I'm playing uh, Gerald the Wizard, uh, who is a warlock and a sorcerer, uh, but not a wizard. Um... <laughs> he's definitely a wizard. What are you talking about? I Since mean, in his heart, he is a wizard. <laughs> Aren't we all? I mean, he's he's like a half of a level of wizard because of these. Yeah, I mean, he's got a... Double, because he's, he's, he's got two the... Zs. That's right. He's got he's got two. Um, he, he does have some wizard spells because he's got the wizard adept feat, right? Yes, and you also have. Uh, and he learned that from yeah. a book. What's more wizardy than that? Honestly. Exactly. Yes, and you you also have a blessing from the god of magic. Yep. Yep. So Which you know what? Has proved such a boon. How about warlock, sorcerer, and honorary wizard? And and. <sighs> An honorary wizard. I'll, you know, I'll honorary take that. that. <laughs> um, you ask Gerald though, and he is just—he's just a wizard. There's no, there's no. What is a warlock? What is a sorcerer? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> um, or do you mind spruiking yourself in the character you play as well? We got a couple of raids over here, and I just want to make sure everyone knows who everyone is. Spruiking myself. Well, first of all, I am the wettest orb, the moistest fear. We don't like dry cubes here, but we do not, you know. They're allowed to be here, but you know we we got a problem with dry and noise. Anyways, um, I play Arthur or the third. I'm a wood. Uh, I'm a. Uh, I'm a. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a ranger, rogue, elf. I stumbled along those words. <laughs> I was very desperately. Uh, I love how out. elf is like your class as well. Your ranger, rogue, elf. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Because you could say an elf is basically a different <laughs> class at this point in time. Uh, he's uh, essentially the leader now. He's no longer the leader. He is the leader of the group. Um, and essentially, he puts his foot in his in his mouth and he can shoot. That's pretty much it. That's an understatement. He fires that bow really well uh, while screaming or not screaming. Um, yeah, both. His speciality is hitting his teammates with Hail of Thorns. Yes, yes. Like he does a lot of damage, <laughs> but sometimes friendly fire is a thing. Mm. Yeah. Well, they it's shouldn't scary. get into situations where. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, a dragon sat on me. I can't really get out of that situation easily. He actually pulled oh, on you. Oh, I thought you were just pinned. Oh, right now it's more that Rudy's pinned under one of the claws, <laughs> yeah. and the tail. Like every time Rudy tries to get up, the tail just like slams him down again. Don't you mm. have some strength? No. Uh, Arthur does. <laughs> uh, speaking uh, speaking of strength, uh, Cuddly Raptor, do you mind doing a little spruik for all our wonderful new friends over here? Sure. Hello, my name's Cuddly Raptor. I play Nana Malavora, who's a little granny gnome druid. Um, she will feed you at the warning, um, and you will like it because it's great food. It's great food. And that's a threat. That's that's a threat and a war and a promise. 
like Unless all wrapped into her. one. Yeah, yeah. Um, she's kind of like, I would say the mom of the group, but she's really the grandma of the group, let's be real. Um, yeah. Like and the was... wine aunt of the group, I'd say. Yeah, like the, yeah, <laughs> that cool aunt who's like, I, you think she has a bottle of red wine in her purse, you're not sure? You can't confirm, but you think. I'm pretty sure um, if we reached into the, the bag of holding and think bottle of wine, I'm pretty sure something will come out. I think you'd come up with something stronger if I'm being honest. <laughs> Fortified. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's that's who I play. And, and as for me, I'm just a Caterpie enjoyer. That's that's all about we me. Love that. We, we love, love that. the Caterpie. Absolutely. And uh, and last but certainly not least, uh, Gudatome, did you want to do a quick little spruik of who you are and your character for all our new friends over here? No, it's okay. I'm not important. Wow. wow. Fuck all wow. Well, you got a I'll shout out over you. here. I'll I'll you want? Yeah, Josie, you you do it. Yeah. Oh, no, well, good. Gudatom is the loveliest, loveliest friend oh, that we have. Oh Gudatom is amazing. Gudatom is an adorable little being who is a really, really good friend of ours. Bit of a chaos gremlin sometimes, but in a good way. You know, the best kind of chaos gremlining. Also, just look, look. Guda even went the extra mile of making her V2 model look like her D&D character. I mean, come Please. on, everyone likes that everyone is in love with that everyone like guda that. is a variety streamer a vtuber on twitch.tv forward slash guda tome and has been with us for quite some time now plays george just george <laughs> just george. who's a starling bard sorcerer starling being a homebrew race that i've made and he has a tendency of popping in and out of various dimensions uh, without control. Did we miss I've, anything I've good? Got I had over here a a good oh, he hasn't had a pop in a while, but that's because of for, that's for narrative reasons. <laughs> Can you imagine trying to uh, get I, that I just, to work? I just want like 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 two seconds in in like the el outer realms, and then that is back. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know just, what happens when you're just, sleeping. Like <laughs> just all of a sudden, all of a sudden, George is just screaming, and everyone's like, "What happened?" And, and George's like, "I spent ten years in hell." Just now. Yeah, but it was just well, like the a Buffy experience. Yeah. You're telling me I'm having the Buffy experience. Oh, no. I, oh, yeah. I, I would, oh yeah, I would imagine it could if it happened at night. Rudy would see it happen, but being in his catatonic state, he wouldn't be able to do anything. So you just see George disappear. And have like you hours know, thinking, oh shit, know, oh fuck, what do, do I do? What do I do? Do you know what it is? It is it is that ladybug cat from that one animated TV show. Oh, cat bug. I can't. Oh, you're just, just on screaming and then faces <laughs> into another reality. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know this reference. I thought you were talking about Maracas Ladybug for a moment. That's what I thought. Different so characters. Awesome. Yeah. I was like, like, those are two different characters. No, it's like a cat with a ladybug body, and it's every now and then it just starts adorable. screaming, mm -hmm. and it just Terminator teleports into another dimension. Speaking of That's screaming and teleporting into another dimension, let's get back to some D&D. &D. Oh my god, it Ooh. is the awe's turn. And Rudy now I'm going to start this off. I'm going to start this off. Uh -oh. With rolling to see if the breath weapon comes back. Uh, no! Josie, you don't have to. You really don't have to. you don't have to. Just, you know, just not... It did not. Oh, I do. <laughs> so instead, is he going to go with a full barrage? Oh, no. Down on Rudy. Right. I just want to say I might have, pinned. might have been posturing a little bit back there. <laughs> as, as you see, it starts letting go with one claw and it it says to you, if this is all you have, then you've robbed us of our last sliver of hope. And just comes down with a claw down on you. Uh, I'm going to roll this die. Mm. And it is a 30 to hit. Yeah, that'll hit. Uh -huh. Yeah, nah. yeah, that'll hit. Mm -hmm. uh, you take 17 points of slashing damage. 17. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, Rudy is still... Is a natural 20. Uh, Rudy... 
Oh my god. Yeah, no, no, he does That's not three cancel crits it. now, yep. Josie. Stop. <laughs> you know what? I should get a dice cam. <laughs> Just so people actually believe me. I'm not joking. I no, I believe. I believe. Okay. So I'm going to roll 4d6. What's uh, the... You have advantage on all death saving. Yeah, rolls, yeah, Rudy does have it. Yeah. Well, he has it anyway. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. oh does he? Okay. Everyone okay. does, though. From Beacon of Hope. Oh, okay. So let's see. You take twenty-four points of slashing damage. Right. As Rudy falls unconscious, he go. He sort of goes. Just to clarify, unconscious, not dead. And uh, <laughs> and and <Ingrid> falls unconscious. <laughs> but what you do realize, the ones of you looking around that aren't blind. Which is, I think, only George. <laughs> yeah. George. <laughs> Ironic. Rudy was the, the only one who could see. The only blind The only non-blind one is the already blind one. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. The awe turns away from Rudy's unmoving body. And it's going to reach out and bite. It's going to step over Rudy's body towards Arthur. Aww. And it is well going to... Uh, it is going to try and bite you. And it does have advantage because you are blinded. Tom. Um. Uh, let's see. Okay, so that is a 25 to hit. Yeah, that hits. You take 20 points of piercing damage as you're standing there trying to get your bearings. You just hear it as it steps in. And it says, your turn! And you just feel the teeth pierce down on your arm where you're holding your arrow. You feel this, like it's almost ripped off. You have to let go of the arrow and the arrow keeps returning to your hand every time it hits the floor. <laughs> it just falls out over and over and over until you feel the teeth let go and the arm falls limp to your side. You can still move it, but the pain, searing pain. And the only thing you're still blinded, the only thing you see is images of Rudy being slammed over and over by claw and tail and in between those you see yourselves as this large hammer comes down upon you oh. arthur it is your turn um hmm. so arthur's dropped his arrow essentially yeah but it keeps coming back to your hand every yes, time the, the lightning spell that i had prepared on it oh you would have to roll a uh, concentration save against uh how much damage was it uh well i took well, an I can check. 20 level. so uh yeah that doesn't matter you gotta make a constitution saving throw and you gotta get a 10 or above you can do it a 10 a ten, yeah. So the, the 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 arrow, even though you keep dropping it over and over, it's still crackling with lightning energy. Now, obviously, the bows and shooting that close, there's yeah, it's a disadvantage, but you already had disadvantage anyway because of the blindness. Okay, so actually, you know, if he's that close, technically the blind just just aim and lose. Oh, well, I was gonna mind. say anywhere I'm gonna aim, I'm gonna hit right. <laughs> <laughs> And remember, the vulnerability is still way. in effect. It is not a concentration effect. The vulnerability, the vulnerability right, is still on. Still on. So Hit this, him. The slow, uh, smallest one was oh! 26. Get 26 him. will definitely hit. You do not get sneak attack damage, but yes. Uh, one high 15. Roll, high. Gets 30, another 30. Thing. Yes! 15 plus uh, 30, that is, yeah, 30 yeah. points of damage. And roll damage for the lightning arrow. Uh, now, my second uh, thing is because I'm in range of this. Um, do I get hurt? <laughs> uh, hold on. Let me double check whether you hit or miss. Uh, do, right? I would like. No, but Rudy takes an immediate death fail as the lightning hits anything within 10 feet of the target. That makes sense. <laughs> so you do hit, your, you do <laughs> hit yourself as well. You need to make a dexterity save against your own lightning right. uh, with a disadvantage because you are blind. Okay. I would right. like so first... Oh, because it's uh, of the target that it's hitting. 
Yes, within 10 feet oh, of the creature so that got I'll hit. I'll do the damage first of 22. 22. And then I need uh, to do dexterity, you said? Uh, yes. Oh, let's see. Easy 29. Uh, 29. So, yeah, you take half. Uh, the dragon takes the full amount of damage. Uh, George, you're the only one who sees uh, the lightning that is crackling throughout its body. The lightning is being led down. You can see it's being conducted by the blood puddles that are left around the lightning jumping around between the golden liquid. And you see Rudy's body spasm and shake on the ground. I'm just trying to jumpstart his heart. <laughs> Hang on. Can, I, can, right. I, can, can we do a medical check? Uh, Medicine this, check? This is the episode of uh, Dramonia ER where we're out in the field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we <laughs> had a detox that while well, we uh, technically yeah, all of them yeah. are in the field, but this is like the <laughs> official one where it's like you don't have any supplies, so we're just. But yes, yeah, Rudy, you take you took a fail. Yep. Uh, Arthur, you took eleven points of lightning damage from your own arrow. Is there anything else you want to... No, you can't do anything uh, else on your turn, because no. uh, cause you're uh, having a moment. Can you not try to shake the blindness, at least? No, the blindness lasts until the next initiative oh, 20. right. Of course. But he can try to shake the... F no, you're already shook in the fear. So yeah, yeah, it yeah. is the... Yeah, it's, at... it's just PTSD. At the end of your turn, however, uh, Rudy... Mm -hmm. You take another automatic death fail, and I'm going to need Excuse me? Arthur to make a cost, of, and I believe, let me double check, a dexterity saving throw as the awe starts beating the wings, and one of the wings slams into Rudy, of course it and is. it's going to fly backwards. What uh, is that my turn to me? Air, Come with your buddy. <laughs> <laughs> up uh, into the there. air over there here. Go. Uh, I got a 19. 19 is not good enough. You take 15 points of bludgeoning damage and you're knocked pro. Wow. Heck. Blop. He thought, he thought 15. Actually, oh, Arthur can't do anything. Arthur's going to pretend he's not unconscious, but he can't. I mean, you do have enough. No, because it was the end of your turn. Uh, Gerald, it is your go. You are still technically blind. Uh, you did yep. hear the beating of the wings. The dragon has definitely moved closer to you. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know if there's anything in particular I can do that because in anything that's not a targeted spell, right? That's not a roll to hit. I need to be able mm -hmm. to see the target, right? And I can't yes. shoot anything because I'm in the in in this in this dome. Yeah. So and at least. <laughs> you could no, technically but... no, because is the wall of force the concentration? It is, yes. So okay. I could drop it, but I'm not going to. <laughs> not, not while I'm so incapacitated, certainly. Um, so, uh, yeah, let me check what potions I've got on me at the moment. Maybe I can hand something off to Nana, maybe, or something. Maybe, maybe. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. What's this? Um Ooh. I could drink that potion of heroism. You could. This could be a good time to use it. You All could. Right. I might as well I might as well do it. Um, what does what does the bless spell do? I can't remember. Uh, you get a D four to saving throws and attack rolls. Okay, it's not bad. Um, but I do believe you also get a couple of temp hit points. Yeah, ten, ten of them. Um, okay. Remember, those wouldn't stack. Uh, instead, no. the higher amount replaces the lower amount. Yeah, no. I might, I might just I might pass on that one then. Um, I'm just. Uh, Gerald, he's sort of like just like fondling around blindly in his uh, in his haversack to try and find something that feels useful to 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 give to Nana or something. 
Um, and hmm. Remember, Nana, you're up next. Oh, thank God. Okay, it's not the king. Okay, it's me. Let's go. It, it, you. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't think there's actually anything I can do. All I'm going to do is, as a bonus action, I'm going to uh, sack a uh, first level sorcerer slot to mm -hmm. get a couple of sorcery points back. Okay. Um, yeah, that's kind of all I can do. Uh, and then get to roll some saves, I guess. Because uh, you're still a feared. Yes. So you get to roll against a fear. I do. So as you're as you're fumbling around, you're charging magic, yep. using using your inert magic to convert into a different kind of power. You all hear the echoing voice of Dylan. Still spooked. If this is all you have, I fear for this play. And Nana, it's your turn. That's why oh, we need help. Hey. <laughs> So I know Nana can't see, but she would have known the direction that Rudy was in, I'm guessing. Does whatever you're wanting to use, does it require you to see the target? I'm wanting to get to him. You are stuck inside a wall of force. I can't get out? No. 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 That's why I asked if you're in or out. <laughs> you wasn't super explained out, but that wasn't but she needs to see the location explained to me okay what um, what, what are you no, wanting to fine. do i i wanted i wanted to go and cure wounds on rudy uh but i don't know that i have anything hold on hold on maybe maybe let's find out it'll be fine it'll be fine yeah, you do have i will say you do have you mass cure ways yeah uh i thought i was done with my fifth level though but I somehow they came back, so I guess... I, I don't know. I don't know how you mark your spells, but it says you have Yeah, that one well, then fuck it. We're doing that. We're doing Mass Cure Wounds, then. Fuck it! Now, does that require... Fuck it! Does that you require do you also... see the... I will also say... Yes. Now, I will also say that you do have Misty Step, so you could bamf out oh. of the dome. If you wanted to. You know what? This is okay because I feel like everyone's pretty pretty hecked. So we're gonna do the master <laughs> wounds. Yes, but um, you have a good point, but Rudy. I can get out. Okay. Uh do, 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 do. so choose, actually since my thing up is to up. Six creatures in a thirty foot radius, sphere certain um centered on a point. Yes, but uh everyone is within a thirty foot mm -hmm. radius. Everyone's within thirty so, feet, okay? So it doesn't, specifically say, doesn't, it doesn't say specifically say it doesn't specifically say no, it just says you choose the mm. creature. You mm -hmm. just have to envision who you want to be. Mm. Okay, so three D eight and like because it's all max, you all get twenty four yes. hit points. Uh, as well plus as your wisdom point. modifier. Yes, uh, plus your wisdom, which is four. Which is four, yes. So uh, you get maybe he probably can't do the siphon because he's unconscious, right? He cannot. But, but he still okay. gets I mean, he's, he's about to be very confident. You're to be about to be very, very confident. confident. Everyone, everyone take 28. Yay. All I right. Can I get myself with that? You do? Well. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Whew. Is there I'll any back, temporary baby. hit dice with that or just the, just normal? That's just, just normal. normal. Okay. Yeah. Just wanted to double check because, uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I Rudy, you, you feel yourself. Okay. You were just, you felt yourself <laughs> getting closer to the embrace of Urgothoa. <laughs> I so felt that hug. You in her you embrace. Can't have you. I was like, I was like, oh my gosh. <sighs> but no, no, Rudy, Rudy needs yes. to prove his own immortality. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Nana, you, uh, you still have a bonus action. You, well, I can't, okay. Yeah, no, I can't give you any more because I can't see you, which is very unfortunate. Uh, so I won't take a bonus action. Uh, I you will... could use more of your Balm of the Summer Court points. I can't see anyone. You can... Oh, can you not use it on yourself? I'm blinded. Uh, Surely you I can mean, use it, it on yourself. I would argue you that you can use it on yourself. If yeah. you, you don't need to, to. see like, where yourself is. <laughs> I'm already like in a little dome. I'm trying to save it for the people who are outside the dome. See, that's fair. I that's mean, fair. Rudy is yeah. about to do the exact same heal you did if if that's what's needed. So, uh, 
Nana feels great after her own year. Oh, well, <laughs> Thank case, you very much. <laughs> that, that's nice. uh, you know what? That's that's fine. She will actually uh, just stay put, and then she will yell at Rudy to get up, and then she will yell at the king because she doesn't know what's going on or the the dragon, mm-hmm. whatever. Um, because I'm assuming we can all hear that he's saying, like, if you're all that this has to offer, this plane is gonna die, basically. Yeah. And then he's so like, she goes, if you kill us now, you're gonna have even less of a chance. You're not making any sense. <laughs> she ain't wrong. <laughs> like... yeah. At the end of your turn, yeah. you get a response. Oh. If you cannot beat me, you have no chance against what is to come. Rudy, it's your turn. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, I would say Rudy's eyes snap open, but they're always open. Um, they're always open. They refocus. <laughs> they were they were kind of. Hello. Uh, <laughs> they, his eyes were kind of like one was looking that way, the other was looking that way, but then they snap back into focus, um, and he immediately jumps to his feet and goes, "I told you, completely immortal." And yes, Rudy is aware that he shifts between invincible and immortal at all times. Don't. Okay, so you uh, you get back to your feet. He's that's back half on your his movement. Feet. Yep, that's fine. Um, just out of curiosity. Move away. Move away. <laughs> just out of curiosity. Mm-hmm. How healthy is Arthur? Arthur is seventy-two out of one hundred and eight. Nice. Arthur Ex- looks fine. Arthur Ex- looks honestly almost to be the finest person around. Excellent. Rudy shackles himself to Arthur. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. He looks around just like walk size with Arthur. Sorry, Arthur. <laughs> I need this. And he shackles himself. So he produces oh, the shackles. Um, um, but the, bone, the bone chains with these bone hooks that just like but, reach out and grab no, around Arthur. Like they they kind of caress him. They don't. They don't hook in. They they caress. They're, they're gentle hooks. Gentle hooks. <laughs> gentle <laughs> hooks. I, I did say yes this time. <laughs> Wait, are you saying no? You see, he, he's gonna assess it, but he's, he's like, hey, thank you. <laughs> I, I still need these. <laughs> As as Rudy's standing up, Arthur, you can see his one one of Rudy's arms is like twisted the wrong way. One of the legs is like in the process of slowly snapping back. Oh. The patella is definitely on the wrong side of the leg currently. Oh, oh. Rudy, you gross. I, I know, Arthur. It's a. I'm, we'll deal with that later. Um. So I'm just reminding myself: Does casting that count as a spell? No. No, it does sweet. not. It does Excellent. Take an action, I believe. Beautiful, right? Um, and he uh, will shift. Uh, he will shift tr- away from you, if that makes sense on the board. Correct. Yep. Excellent. So he's no longer. How in, far? Uh, that's that's no, not in line. Maybe a little bit closer towards Arthur. Yep, that's cool. Um, okay. Wonderful. And he will. Um. Yeah, I guess we're gonna have to do that. Just gotta make sure we get the. And he will. Uh. He will attempt to gain. No, no. Be smart, Darcy. Be smart. Uh. He will heal himself. (laughs) Um. With um. With a cure wounds, which is maxed, isn't it? Uh. Is your shackles a full action or a bonus action? That's a good question. In which case, it's a full action, so he'll do um he'll do a healing word then um on himself. Okay. He'll just go, yeah, yeah. You're you're immortal. You're invincible. You can handle this. This is fine. We'll, we'll be you're right. immortal because of me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it is max healing yep. from the spell, but you do split it with Arthur. Yeah, that's that's yeah, that makes sense. So it uh so both Arthur and Rudy get uh. Get um. Oh what my level gosh. of healing word? A uh, ten, ten each, because it's rounded down. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, ten each. Okay. Thank you. Should have healed myself. Yeah. So like Arthur, you feel again. your your hand, your arm goes a bit numb. You can see that like it's starting to heal up, and like quickly scab over. Um, starting to feel better. Doesn't hurt as much moving your arm around, and 
Uh, as you're looking at your arm, like, your eyes focus in and you see, like, Rudy's legs snap around a quick 180 and he just, like, crack throws, back into place. He quickly throws up. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, are, there are maggots in your throw-up, by the way. Anything else on your turn, Rudy Magic has to begin? Uh, no, he is, he's all good. George, it is your turn. George was about to take a bite of food. I, w I was not prepared. <laughs> George is just having a snack. Almost. George sitting like eating stuff from the table that's been thrown. Just, everyone, well, everyone I mean, dying. George having a snack. Right it's here. RPG game, like mood all over. Like pausing the game, eating all the food in your backpack. Mm -hmm. and then, yeah. <laughs> you <want the> cheese. <laughs> but yes, George you know, is your turn, and then it's the layer. The middle, but yeah. I'm a shooter, damn. You're shooting it with your magic? Magic. I'm gonna do another 88. 86. 86, 86. 86 plus 8. 86 that's, plus that's 8. That's a good chunk. That's different. I heard 86? That's a pretty yeah, good number. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. Yeah. I heard yeah. like. Yeah. I like 86. 94? Yeah, it's gonna be 86 points of damage, Josie, <laughs> as no, you can not. hear me still <laughs> shuffling my. No, it's not. Ooh. Ooh, we like these numbers. Josie doesn't like these numbers, but Goody likes these numbers. So let's see. That's three sixes. 18. I refuse That's to uh, 21. That's 26. That's uh, 40. That's mm -hmm. 44 plus 8. So 52. 52 points of damage. That's almost 86. <laughs> that is a lot of damage. Might as well round it up. No save and no need to roll to hit. Jesus. No. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it does cost spell slots. It does it's, cost a spell slot. Yeah, so yeah. it's like... Name a spell that's as good as that. It's so good. <laughs> With no save and no hit. Arthur Jesus. can't even do anything close to that. That's why it's it's basically designed to be an improved version of the Wand of Magic Missiles. I'll say. <laughs> Great. We love Give it, it hell. Yeah, just <laughs> keep firing. <laughs> So as as George goes down on one knee, stables himself against the wall to uh, prevent any form of kickback, you as you all start getting your vision back, Nana and Gerald, you just see as George clicks, and you can see this recoil as George is pushed back against the wall, and there's just this reverberation in the air as this donut-shaped crack slams into uh, the awe from the side, and is it does... possible to hit the same spot as before? Is he two turns? No, because it's a different side. Okay, I just wanted to double check. Thank but you. you do see this large donut shaped crack, and it looks like breaking a pot as these, like, huh. instead of skin tearing or scales flying, it's just these large chunks, these shards almost that crack inwards and start sticking out jaggedly. And he does lose some height. I'm gonna say. Oh. Nice, nice. I can't. Uh, he does. Uh, hit him so like, hard he shrunk. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> you hit him, and he, with all that damage taken, he stumbles down to the ground, like lands on all fours. You can see these this golden liquid is pouring out of all of these holes. It's just pooling on the ground, starting to reflect the ceiling and the golden torches all around you. Is there anything else you want to do on your turn, George? Yeah, healing word. It's a bonus action. Go for it. Who are you healing? Ruby. Thank you. <laughs> Ruby. Uh, Ru yeah, you can. What is the yeah, healing so word? It's still max, so yep. it's going to be 44 plus 3. So that's what, 16, 19? Yes, I'll 19 take points. It. I'll take it what do you say that. to Ruby? Uh, 19, so it's halved. So both. Uh, yeah, so you get 9 each. 9 each, yep. Beautiful. If you're gonna be immortal, do it right. <laughs> <laughs> How uh, dare you? We will be having words after this, George. But she's right. He's right. <laughs> <laughs> As at the end of your turn, George, having landed down on the ground, uh, the dragon is going to slam towards you. As you've just fired, the dragon lands. It turns, and you uh, see the... Uh, the tail coming and just slamming you into the wall 
I have a reaction. Okay, what, what are you reacting? I have a shield. <laughs> I just gotta okay. find it. It is... I will say, though, it is a uh, 33 to hit. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> can shield yeah. even get Remember, that Remember, I only have a 14 AC. I don't think shield so, can help so you on that one. Hit is what you're so telling. be glad this isn't Pathfinder, because then it would have been a crit. Oh, man. Uh, so, are you using your reaction for anything? There's no point. Okay. You take 20 points of bludgeoning damage as you're just slammed into the wall. The magic flies into your hand, landing 5, 10 feet away. You said 22. Yes, 22 okay. points of bludgeoning damage as you're just slammed into the wall. Um, everyone who is blinded, you're no longer blinded. Yay! Uh, <laughs> Woo. I love that. I just want to say I jinxed time. myself because Instead, an orb's cut. <laughs> now <said>. heaving. <sighs> oh. Yes. Come at me. And you Bro. see the eyes. Now this time, instead of focus, they open wide and you see that golden shimmer again. As oh, no. he's focusing, calculating everything around. Um, and he, this round has advantage on attack rolls, ability checks, and saving throws. But that's okay. Ooh. As it is no one, no the... No burnt the Mind Sliver yet, have they? No. There hasn't been a saving throw since. Hmm. Then how long does it last? Uh... Uh, before the end of my next turn, so it probably... Is it... Yeah. That would have been. It's past. Yeah. Then. yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna roll to see yeah. if Breath Weapon comes back. No, no Breath oh, Weapon. Oh, we are Ooh, being saved by that. that. He, he truly it's heaving. That. And you now see this golden liquid pouring out between the teeth. And it stumbles. It's starting to look dragged. And it's having a hard time moving. As it is going to turn its full attention on George. No! It's, it's tail like slams against the wall of force and like slides along it. You see these golden, yeah, just like <laughs> screeching against that it turns around. Fear me. And uh, everyone who, uh, no, I believe everyone, do 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 do. It does uh, the frightful oh. presence happen. Uh, but uh, I believe everyone has saved from it at some point or another. Still I forgot to do my roll. So I, I, I forgot I to try and it. do my roll, so I didn't. Okay, cover. so roll, roll me a wisdom save for George then. No. So you are <laughs> you are staring down, even injured. You see these broken, jagged wounds, the skin breaking. I'm gonna say with your senses. You feel no pulse. You feel no heartbeat coming from this creature. Inside the wounds, you sense no muscle fibers. And then it comes down on you with full force as this fear just envelops you. The mouse comes. Oh. 19 to hit. Chill, 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 chill. Now is when I shield because then I would be at exactly 19. <laughs> Which means it would still yeah, hit. Oh, you're right. Right. So there's no oh, point. No. Damn it. Fuck. So it comes down, just slams down on you. You start crawling backwards. It catches one of your legs. Uh, do, 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 do. you take 17 points of piercing damage and it pulls you in closer it lets go and you're now underneath it the neck is craned looking down at you as it rears up on its back legs and both claws come down uh, however this is a 16 to hit for the first claw no! <laughs> yes! There we go. You throw up this, this magical barrier shimmers like a smaller version of the 
the dome of force that you've sensed. Just throw the air up around you, trying to fortify it. The, one of the claws skitters off. You see, it is the left arm. And you can see that the elbow has a gashing scar across it. It's missing a lot of yeah, volume. About that. And it just slides <laughs> off the barrier. The second attack is a 23 to hit. So with the right hand, it just pushes down and crashes through your barrier. And you take 11 points of slashing damage as one of the claws, like, hits you at, in the side. It's, its entire hand almost the size of you. And just one claw slashes through the side of your abdomen. I'm a little hurt now. Um, <laughs> this is the most hurt George has ever been since joining you guys. Yep. Just want you to know, today is the first day George has gotten hurt since joining the party. <laughs> oh, man. You know what? It was a I bad was... time. <laughs> the face, you can see these golden whiskers almost trailing, almost like they are sensing your body in some way. They're just no, tracing no. your shape. I did not consent. It comes close and it snarls. If you are the vanguard of this plane, we are all lost. Arthur, it is your turn. You can Arthur, see again. Arthur gets up. You get up. Arthur goes, leave my George alone! And he fires. <laughs> Go for it. 22. 22 hits. Sneak attack? Uh, yes, you would have. 22. 22 points of damage. Nice. And and then he starts going, over here, dragon, towards me! <laughs> 31 to hit. Just just remember la what happened last hits, time you yeah. did this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Please. Arthur knows. Arthur knows. Oh. It's a 15 on top of that. That's what the shank 15. Is Doesn't even turn towards you. Your arrows stick into its tail that's snaking around the dome. Sort of like feeling the dome out. Like it's trying to gauge its circumference. Your arrow hits once, twice into the tail. And the two of you, Nana and Gerald, you see this golden liquid pooling down the side of the dome, just outside of reach. Mm. Anything else on your turn, mm. Arthur? Arthur cannot. Arthur is just yelling, like, over here, hello! Like, spawn just Doesn't the whole seem time. interested in you at all, Kurt. You suck as a dragon. Okay, I'm gold, gonna I'm gonna gold, have golden, roll the persuasion. Yeah, golden check. dragons are prideful. I thought we we concluded <laughs> last time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. persuasion. Yeah. Did you say? Wound that yeah, pride. Persuasion. <laughs> we should pull a. <laughs> yeah. Ten. Ten. <laughs> the the only thing that you see as a reaction is that the tail does like a quick swish when you say that. <laughs> a slightly annoyed cat. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of your turn. The tail that looked like it was swishing in, in a reaction to your slight slams into your George once again. Uh, a 31 to hit. If it's above a 14, yes. <laughs> 17 points of bludgeoning damage as you're as you're frightened, just like on on your butt on the ground, trying to just scamper away from it. The tail slams you into the wall and pulls you closer again. Do you believe you can save us all? Gerald, it's your turn. Ah, very you can good. hear these whispered taunts. Mm. These questions. And I'm going to say you get the sensation that Nana, on the other hand, I will say, Nana, you pick up that there's a hint of sadness in the voice. Like, this is, this is not a taunt. This is a genuine question. Mm. But it is your turn, Gerald. Mm -hmm. Nana, you're next. Uh, <clears throat> all right. Um, I, I take a quick look at Nana. How, how's, how's she looking? 
now that we've had a couple, uh, a few turns in the shield. Looking okay. Looking like she's not feeling her best, but she's not like bloodied, if you, as the kids say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> she, you, you, you can tell. Say. Yeah, you can tell that she's been put. She's put more effort into taking care of everyone else than herself. Mm -hmm. But she's yeah. not looking terrible. Yeah. I don't know. The dragon seems pretty intent on single targets for the most part at this point. Mm -hmm. It's also because it mm -hmm. knows it can't break the wall of force. Mm. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's <laughs> probably also true. Yeah, like I'm literally just slowly gaining health back from that single breath. I'm like, hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. yeah. Um, oh, actually, this is this is... It's on it's on the ground at the moment, right? It's not flying. It is on the ground. Okay, I'm gonna cast. I'm gonna use my last first level sorcerer slot to cast grease. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> just, I'm just gonna grease it up. <laughs> okay. Go. So. Uh, so uh, there's this one point where you see this golden liquid that's been pouring out of the dragon. It starts changing texture ever so slightly. <laughs> It goes very greasy and slippery. I need to make it. Do I need to make a dexterity check immediately? Yes. Uh, and it's DC nineteen. DC nineteen minus uh, the D four. Minus a D four. That is actually. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna use a legendary resistance. Yes. <laughs> nice. nice. Well done. Well done so it takes a step, and it just it, you can see with its left front leg, it starts slipping, and then it parries. And you can see it winces that it's put more weight on that one leg. <laughs> and Joe's just like, oh. still terrified. Yeah. Anything else for a bonus action? <laughs> um, I don't. Let me just check my actions. Yeah, I don't. No, I can't. I can't really use hex here. So, um, yeah, we're good. We good. Gene. Good. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Nana, it is you up, Rudy. You're on deck. Yes. Um, I have a quick question. So on the map, it looks like George is a little bit in front of the dragon. Yes, George is in front of the dragon. Okay. Okay. So it's it's not like he's being clutched by it or anything. Right now, it's more like the head is trained from above down at George, and the like the hands are on the sides. Okay. Cool. Cool. And it's staring intently. Yeah, I bet it is. Okay. I forgot I was supposed to have advantage on all of those attacks against George. I feel like this is a hit. hit. I feel like you're okay. <laughs> yeah, you, I you're like, right. <laughs> I, I, I just feel like that. I'll remember that right. for after after Nana's go when I'm going to take another tail attack. Oh, great. <laughs> great. Good, good, good. Awesome. Oh, um, also, just in case you wanted to mark it, it's a 10 foot square. Um, a 10 foot square. Of, no, of I think, yeah, it's it's big enough to only have one paw in, in the suit. <laughs> At any one time. So, so big. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm just... I, I just... The thing that I wanted to do was two bonus actions, and I didn't like that uh, very much. So now I'm oh, no. looking at it again. I'm looking at it again, and I'm trying to figure it out. I had it all sorted, I think, Josie. I think topping up George is probably maybe priority number one. Yeah, well, my... My thing was to get him out of there. Yeah. But I don't know that I can uh, do that because I'm stuck. I'm never saying yes to the bubble again. I'm so <laughs> mad. Um, I mean, you have been attacked, so... No, you technically can, but you would place yourself in Georgia's spot. Because hidden paths you can yep. use on someone else as an action. So you could hold oh. this action yourself to George Whoa. and then Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my that's gosh, that's actually do. genius. That's what I want to do. That's you got to exactly do like a switcheroo between that's it. Yeah, and George. I'm doing a switcheroo. Yeah, you could switch a room. I'm doing oh. a switcheroo. I have enough left. That you knew yeah. exactly what I wanted to do. I just didn't read that yeah. it was an action. It's it's a bonus action for you to teleport, but there's an action to send someone else away. Send someone else. Oh. 
Ooh. okay, yeah, that's exactly what we're doing. Nana goes, hold on, George! And she just, like, turns, <laughs> and suddenly she's <laughs> in George's spot. And you gotta yeah, trust and, me! And sends him away. And George is suddenly on the ground at your feet, Gerald. George is inside the dome with you. Oh, hello, George. For the record, I should have done that, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't roll my... Saving throw? Go ahead. Almost certainly failed saving throw. Oh, one of those was a natural 20, but it's a 14. <laughs> but it's a 14. Wow, wow. So, Nana, you do yeah. technically have movement as well. Yeah. Um, you have your your normal I movement. Do. I do have my normal movement. Run and away. I think... <laughs> right? <laughs> um, I don't think it's going to matter very much, but she will try and get away like a little bit, like enough to get out of range, knowing that she'll probably have to um, get smackied around with a tail. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe, maybe 10 or 15 feet. Okay, as you start backing away, yes, it is going to take an attack of opportunity at you. Yes, that is like, okay. As, as soon as you move, you almost see the dragon react. Like, as soon as you step and start disappearing towards George, you see the mouth open. And this all happens, like, in the blink of an eye, Nana's hand appears through an invisible portal, almost from behind George. Like, no one sees the exit point and touches George, and it's almost like they side panel through each other, and as this is happening, the head is coming down, teeth first. And then uh, you're just about to, like, start booking it. Yeah. It is a 22 to hit. Yep, yeah, that's gonna hit. That's gonna hit. You take 15 points of piercing damage, as okay. just as you're running, the teeth like slams shut at your back and just rips through your clothing and you're like a part of your shoulders and your back is just rent free. Ooh. And it's just, just like blood spills out. Hit cookies though. <laughs> no. uh, you know, I was gonna make him a dinner with nice little cookies wow. and now not I'm so not so much. sure. But you um, are far enough away to where it cannot hit you with its tail. That's always nice. Okay, I need to do a save to do the, um, I'm just going to do it on here because otherwise it'll take 10 years. Concentration yes, check, yeah. concentration check to see, hopefully it begins to, uh, oh, it is a 12. I don't know if that's going to make That succeeds because oh, it is, good. you needed to be okay. a 10. Oh my god, I got a 10. <laughs> And then it was so the, the, the bacon. The bacon of hope is still the going. The bacon of hope is here to save us all. <laughs> okay. The bacon of hope. <laughs> I love it. That, that's it. That's Nana's that turn. That is the end. The end of Nana's turn. At the end of your turn, Nana, no one is within range. You are the because George and Gerald, you are protected by the dome of force as the dragon starts flapping its wings again, and it looks like it's harder. It's taking so much more effort. The wind. Like, picks up, you see the pews are being moved away just by the force of the wind as it is going to fly over towards Rudy. Yo, oh, back for round two, hey? Wow. <laughs> 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 Damn, Rudy. <laughs> and Rudy, it is your turn. And yeah. Rudy, uh, Rudy will, uh, as he says back for round two, he throws a fist at the, the, Pre-injured leg, uh, charging oh, okay. up his fist with vampiric touch. Okay, uh, go for it. Which is Rolling a twenty-one to hit. Twenty-one just hits. Yes. When you want, when you want to hit a cold shot like that. Oh, and yeah. Roll damage. He... And I... Let's go. Sorry, yeah, Josie. No, roll, roll for damage. Yeah, he slams his fist straight into that pre-made wound, which uh, which is oh, not a good roll, but 14 necrotic damage by the looks of things. Uh, you do 24 points of necrotic damage. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh. Yes, so you and Arthur gets 12 points of healing each. There you go. Mm, let's go. Uh, so you see, as you slam your hand out, charge with that necrotic energy, 
Actually, you... I need to read something, because here comes some technicalities. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no. You better say I just shoved my hand into pure radiant damage. No, 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 no. no. Hold on. I gotta check. Because... <laughs> no, it's, it's pure molten gold. Oh, so shit. Your arm just melts off. <laughs> no, Wait, no, you have uh, gold bones, it's, then? It works. No, it works. Uh, so you, you both get the healing, and you see these cracks appear on the leg itself and you see pieces break off like just big shards of something break mm. fall to the ground and shatter mm. and inside you just see gold like you've broken a marble statue there's just gold inside hmm. um okay cool um so that was that was his uh little spell there um yeah as a hmm no, there's not really too much he I think he can do right now um, because he can't cast a cantrip so we'll just yeah I think I think he's gonna you know what he's gonna stare at the dragon in the eye because he's he it, and he puts up his fists and he's like I said come back for round two and as an in, uh, as an intimidation check um, roll. Yeah, feel free. Roll an intimidation check. No. Oh, 11. <laughs> 11. <laughs> the eyes come down close to you. And you just hear, you are so close. George, it's your turn. That unsettling words. Okay. I'll start off as a bonus action. Yes. And um so Are you quickening spell for that? No, because that's one of your spell. bardic things. It's I a keep bardic. I, I keep mixing it up with unsettling whispers. Yeah, no. <sighs> Sorry. No, this is unsettling words. And so you're gonna get a minus six. Minus six on on your next saving throw. Oh my next saving throw. Okay, yes. Which you're gonna have to use right now. Oh. <laughs> because okay. I'm going to mind whip. <laughs> okay, Ooh, mind whip. It. So what do you need from me? Uh, DC 16 intelligence. Okay, That's I do right. have advantage still. But you have a minus six. So... Minus six, yes. So it is, I'm going to tell you, it's a minus three to whatever I roll. I got... A 19 minus 3 for a 16. No. Yes, I did. I did. I want to use a luck point. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have any. <laughs> you can't use those on enemy saving throws. <laughs> So you, that be lovely? you speak your unsettling words, trying to pry away at its mental defenses. And then you reach out with your own mind, your magic, and it's just batted away. And you all, all in the room, sense that there's a calmness coming to the all. Like, as compared to when you fought the pit fiend, who went more feral feel like the awe is almost like settling in for something. I don't like that. I don't like that. Do you want to use any movement, George? Well, I'm in the dome, so You're in the dome, you're on you're on the ground and you one of your legs is like fucked up. I don't think I can move too much other than uh to quietly tell Gerald for the leg or like the wherever the injury that uh that i noticed was so now gerald is aware that there is an injury yeah to aim for it sort the of eyes looks at you wild-eyed in response <laughs> yeah. the eyes are still focused on you rudy mm -hmm. they start glowing so close and i need you to make a charisma saving throw oh 
thought I told you I could be exactly as charismatic as I need to be in the moment. 26. Ooh, oh, shit, yeah. Shit, let's go. Again, you feel that force, that magic trying to send you somewhere else. You just stay put where you are. You just dukes up against this dragon. I said, <laughs> put him up. Yeah, one of your hands is like twisted the wrong way around. <laughs> put him up. <laughs> With these eyes, because he has no, he's like, put them up. <laughs> it is Dragon's turn. I'm going to roll for breath weapon. <laughs> breath oh. weapon straight at Rudy. <laughs> no, oh, no. Yes. Breath weapon does not oh. come back. <laughs> I've been rolling ones and fours, and That's I need a five or a six to get it back. That's so wow. good. That's so lucky. I kind of wanted it, though. No. <laughs> he wanted no. to tank it. No, I, I, I wanted to give half of it to Orb. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, my God. And you would have been like, no, it was all Rudy. <laughs> it just stares down. But can you go the distance? And its mouth opens, and this gold liquid pours down on you, and it's just gonna chop. Those aren't of hands. Attacks. You're cheating. Uh, twenty-one to hit. That'll hit. That'll hit. Uh, Rudy, we so... said don't get eaten. Uh, Rudy and Arthur both take eight points of slash piercing damage each. Thank you, Arthur. Ah. <laughs> and then one claw comes slamming into you. Uh, with a 33 to hit. That'll hit. Uh, for, so 10 points of slashing damage to you both as you're beaten to the side, slammed down to the ground, and then the other one comes from about above, down on top of you. 31 to hit. That'll hit. And, uh, you take both 9 points of damage each. Rudy! As it just, as the hand is now pinning you down, Rudy. I like feel like we've been here head. before, and it didn't end well for you. <laughs> and then it turns its eyes towards you, Arthur. Still uh -oh. pinning Rudy down partially underneath one of its claws. It looks at you, Arthur. Arthur goes, hey, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Where's Arthur Noah when we need him? <laughs> the god has spoken. It is your turn, Arthur. Arthur, do Arthur. the thing already, will you? Arthur, don't, I'm doing the thing, and he shoots the arrow. Shoot the arrow. 24. Team loose. 24 hits, Let's you go. do get sneak. Let's do it! <laughs> Come on, Arthur. 19. I've got him. Damage on sneak. 19. I've got him exactly where you need him. Nice. Exactly where you're on the ground. I think he has you where he, he needs No, you. I've got him where you need him. Fire! <laughs> um, 30. Rudy's just like, I've hits. got him! Yeah. <laughs> With, oh, nine lowest I can Nine do. points. As that last arrow hits, you fire once, you hit the side of its cheek, and it starts, like, tensing its jaw, and the arrow is threatening to snap before it returns to you. And as you go and you fire the last one, you hit a piece of the neck. And as the arrow disappears, the hole starts pulling out this golden liquid. And you see the weakened leg falls down. And it speaks. <sighs> Thank you. Please. You have proven your capabilities. I do not have it in me to go any longer. <gasps> Arthur grabs the sunblade. Whoa, 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 whoa. And it starts walking forward. You see the dragon looks at you. Doesn't do anything. If you wish to strike me down, then so be it. 
but make me one promise. Please. Me. What is the promise? Save him. Save Dionysus. Oh. Mm. Arthur, we've talked about this. Don't! Uh, yeah. Don't! Uh, uh, Arthur's, Arthur's <laughs> just standing there. He, he's got the sun blade lit at this point. I will not fight you any longer. You're still on me! <laughs> it, let's go. No! We can, we can move away from battle. <laughs> Um, Mass cure wounds to everyone except for Nana, which should cover the dragon? Question mark? Well, you try to heal the dragon, but nothing happens. Huh. What was the max heal on that? When, that That is tw uh, 28. 28? Yeah, we both get that. Yeah. Well, uh, okay. Arthur wants to sort of go down on one knee. Before killing it, can we ask it questions? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Arthur's not killing it. Arthur, will let you know. <laughs> yeah, thanks say, for clarifying that, Arthur. Arthur. You tend to kill things. It takes its claw off Rudy, and it just slumps down to the ground. The wings fold in, and you see mm. this golden liquid is just pooling around. So Arthur's dropped down to one knee next to the head. And he goes, and the head is like just resting on the floor. Is there any way the we survive second. from our battle? I will live if we end here. Yes. Arthur sort of looks up at the group and he goes, <sighs> We didn't come here to kill <laughs> the ore, Arthur. Uh, my, hold on. Am I, I, have am I still uh, afraid? Or does the does the effect like does he end the effect? Can it can he end the effect? Uh, or, or am I just? I'm gonna, gonna... Say, I'm gonna say yes. The effect ends as the dragon has admitted defeat. Mm -hmm. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> um. Arthur uh, sort of uh, puts the sword away. Puts one hand on the head of the dragon. Okay. You may live, but you have some questions to answer. And he walks off towards the group. I will answer any questions. All right, All guys. Right. Go answer any... Go question him. Go. It's you. Otherwise, I would have killed his ass. Did Daryl drop the dome, or am I still stuck in here? Uh, you're still stuck in here. <laughs> no, I refuse. I missed you step out. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Let's go. I'll talk to the dragon. <laughs> Your leg feels a little bit better after the healing from Nana. Limp over. <clears throat> um, Arthur, off. Arthur, your arm feels better. It looks like it's probably going to leave a real nasty scar. Rudy, a couple of your lib ribs are definitely misaligned. I'll get a hammer later. We'll fix that up. <laughs> what, was, what was the meaning of any of this? I... I... We were, we were just having Carol. dinner. There was no need for this. It was all the need. First of all, you said you were going up against the mastermind behind this. Yeah. And you claimed that you fought to what you perceived as a victory. Have you not heard of Arthur Albert the Third, Heart of the Vanguard? Leader of the Vanguard. Arthur, I, it's, uh, it's not, it's, I don't think it's a personal. Um, a reputation no. means nothing without physical proof. Uh, did we I not... needed to know that I could trust you. Gerald, it was I, personal when this guy started taking the friggin' the glory from our battles. He didn't take the glory. He wanted to reassure his people that they were protected. There's a small difference. While still infuriating, there is a difference. Okay. I, I think that's mostly so, meaningless, though. Didn't, did we not win your competition to, to prove exactly this? Do you think those mere creatures have anything against me at my full power? You were at your full power? Were you at your full power? Yes. 
Well, I'm I'm right as rain now. You hear yes. a large cr- a large crack as Rudy like realigns his elbow or something. It's like, yeah, you're right as rain. You know? <laughs> Oh, you're telling me I say it's spell slots for nothing. Oh, well. <laughs> Goody, did you have a question before? I heard you were you were. I was gonna say, uh, or George was gonna say rather. So that's all well and good. Test us. I understand. You need to learn psychic simulations instead of the physical type. We can we can we can we can figure this out. It's in the future, right? Because I'm all for tests. I like tests. Well, not really, but I'm I all don't for like them. Tests. <laughs> <laughs> but simulations, man. You're 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 well, powerful gold dragonish, like ish. <laughs> you all up close see now that these wounds. There's just this gold matter inside. Mm. Mm. Look, I. Well, well, what are you even? Yeah, Nana kind of comes over and goes, so not quite a dragon? She looks at, like, the others. Why is that ish? E- explain yourself, or I will introduce myself again. Truly. I am Dylan Florion. The Awe. The Eclipser. Simulacrum of Dionysus. Kelly has a question. Yes. Is that the same thing that Yasi was? No. Damn it. Kelly has no more questions. Uh, what, uh, what is a simulacrum for Dionysus in this circumstance? What does that are you mean? Asking me or are you, no, it was Gerald, asking, Gerald the asking the dragon. What do, what do you do for Dionysus as a simulacrum? I lead this realm. Dionysus does not care for his subjects. Dionysus grows powerful, large. I was created 500 years ago to be a point of consistent rule. Hmm. Oh, so you somewhat like a very fancy golem? No offense. In a way. I was created from his own lifeblood, molded and formed in his image. Oh. What you fought today was Dionysus 500 years ago. Oh, ah. you're saying we just essentially fought an Ur dragon? Uh, much younger. Much one. younger, but still. Yes. Oh, that is why I know I can trust you to save the real Dionysus. Oh, yes. When you say save, what do you mean that... by that? I have a tether, a sliver of a connection, too stretched to communicate. But I have seen glimpses. Our conversation last night. And you see the head sort of like slacks tiredly. The eyelids look heavy. He found out. What you said to me. And he questioned Jalira on her promise. Oh? Promise? Decades ago, she came in a different form. She made a promise, a vow to Dionysus. To 
bring his sister back in exchange for his allegiance. And the head sort of just scrapes against the floor, tilts a bit to the side. No, no, no. You don't get to fall asleep. You started this fight. You stay awake to answer these questions. I am trying. Well, do you need a top off? What do you need? There is only one way to restore my form. There is a laboratory under the cathedral. Where I was made. Oh, well, that's actually quite convenient because um, we're kind of going there anyway. Oh, I am not bringing anyone back from the dead in the state I am, Nana. Um, it, it no, wasn't no, it a no, bit idiot. dumb to, uh, uh, to, to essentially ruin your body when there's only a single way to repair it? Not if my death means the saving of Dionysus. You're a fool. How long do you have? And how long do we have to get to the, the thing to... I am a fool. I am created in the image of a young, proud dragon. Mm. So fool's gold. Right. When you say cathedral, you mean the cathedral here, yes? Yes. Right. Well... I suppose I can nip on over and go get it. I just... <sighs> just flash the membership card, shall I? Are you... one of ours? And the eyes turn toward you. Yes. Do I not look like I have been touched by the favor of Ergothoa? How do you think I maintain any semblance of living in this state? Hashtag not an evil god. <laughs> Hashtag totally immortal, but not immortal unless his heart is there. With your powers, your seat in the clergy would have been high enough to know of my secret. No, I left it ages ago. I was chased away, in fact. And how the turntables. <laughs> I will not ask any questions in the current state. Yes, if you could bring me there, I could be restored. How do we bring? I could answer any questions. How do we bring you there? You are. Are, are you able to turn back to your? Humanoids? Yes. One moment. Before oh. you do. Before and you, you do. <laughs> before see you the do. entire form just starts <laughs> melting. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. Or we can ask you after we see. There's just this, like, like almost like chocolate meeting melting in the sun. It just like starts to run, and then lumps fall off and splash onto the ground. It it sounds delicious somehow. After a couple of minutes, you see in this large lumpy puddle, a figure emerges. And you see the somewhat humanoid form of the ore. Yeah. But you still see broken these lines that are like like someone has taken hammers to a marble statue. Right. So how do we transport the ore through the city looking like this without being detained by every god? In you look, you look, you look over at Arthur. He's got a jar and he's scooping up like the dragon's golden blood into jars i mean well i've got past that to trace but i don't know what i you can guys. make every <laughs> single one of us invisible do yeah that worry. sounds like the right thing <clears throat> do not worry <sighs> the first shield is on the way she will oh. take us there we're gonna be in trouble oh, no no this is no, okay now we can explain yes Funny that you mentioned the first shield. Would you Why? be able to put in a small word and say that I can't complete the task that I've promised tonight because you attacked us? 
<laughs> Sorry, I didn't catch that one word. That was a weird noise you made. Really. Sorry, I just finally found a really good opportunity yeah. to use it. Yeah, it was perfect. Um, not at the time, but I just realized I was only rolling 7d6 and not 8d6. I just counted my dice for, again. For what? For those two attacks. I just counted my dice and there's only seven here. There's not eight. I mean, we how many dice difference him. would it have we still been? Got him. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just gonna ask. It doesn't I'm matter. Just, yeah, we'll, we'll I check just after. Yeah. No, I look. It's it's it, it seems small in comparison to all this now, but I might have promised to bring the first shield's daughter back from the dead. Uh, however, lol, J.K. You fought have too the many power things. to bring the dead back. And you hear suddenly this heavy rapping on the gate. And you see the awe immediately, like, waves a hand. And all of the gold seems to vanish. Arthur, you being the one currently scooping <laughs> gold, you can still feel it, but you can't see it. Right. <laughs> right. And to all of you, except for Rudy, whom the awe is currently leaning on, the all looks like full pristine, like appearance. But you can tell, I would say Rudy can tell, and George can tell that that is just an illusion. Oh, yeah. And the door opens. <laughs> can Arthur quickly go sneak mode? He does not want to be in trouble here. Um, I mean, there's not really anywhere to hide currently. There's. Can I hide uh, uh, behind everyone else? <laughs> you want to be what, what are you trying to achieve by this? When I'm the, not he, getting he in trouble. He literally <laughs> said, don't worry, the first shield is on the way. I don't yeah, like, care. And I... worst case, I can make us invisible. I, I feel like we're still going to be. You can hide behind Nana. <laughs> <laughs> you see the first shield enter, donning her armor with a large shield on her back. And she steps in and she kneels. My all. To what can I be of service? The all says, Oh. Parkany, would you be a dear and just make sure that the, the path to the cathedral is clear i would like to bring my esteemed guests here to a, a bit of a private tour of my personal personal chambers and there's like a moment where she looks like what and she looks over all of you bloodied table smashed flipped. yeah <laughs> so the entire room looks immaculate oh what about us though mm -hmm. Do do we look immaculate? You, you do not. There we go. <laughs> uh, Nana gives her two thumbs up and like a very like cringe smile, yeah, like it, in pain. <laughs> Rudy, you're just about to check your face when you realize the veil has sort of like repaired itself over after all of those hits. Uh, thank you, Kathoa. <laughs> um, yes, my all, definitely. Uh, give me a moment, and she steps outside, and you just hear her yelling something. And you're giving essentially a police escort through the city. There's like a whole row of guards around you, thick. They are just making sure no one can see. The awe also seems to put up some form of illusion to sort of make himself harder to see time i had this much of an escort it was not with the same intentions <laughs> i think that was around when we met you wasn't it <laughs> and sure, rudy you can feel as meant. you're as you're walking rudy you can feel that like it is difficult for the awe to walk like there's limping there's every now and then as soon as he thinks that parkany isn't paying attention he sort of like winces and sighs and there's like these 
little grunts as he's walking. Eventually, you make it to the entrance of the cathedral in ivory. The door is already open. You can see in this sort of widow's veil, wearing uh, what might be considered some form of sleeping attire, some robes, dark, holding a staff. Rudy, you recognize that this is Gafia, the high priestess. And you hear a voice, ah! My king, I didn't expect you at this hour. Oh, yes, yes, we have a need of my personal chambers, uh, showing some important people around. Yes, yes, of course. And she rushes in. And you walk through a large, large temple. You see lit lights. There's a couple of people in there currently praying to various iconography, various podiums and tribute offering altars. You're led to the right-hand side of the podium itself, whereas earlier you went to the left-hand side when Rudy and Nana went to the dorms. You go to the right-hand side. Rudy, you know that this connects to the kitchen, Mm -hmm. the feasting hall and then the mausoleum the crypts beneath the cathedral you're led down stairs it's dark you see that grabbing a candle from one of these little offering altars the high priestess leads the way down these stairs you do hear sound coming from a kitchen. You can smell food being cooked. Keep heading down, down, until you reach a large door. It has a massive face carved into it. A gaunt face, dehydrated. The high priestess pushes it open, and the smell of damp earth hits all of you. And you see this massive open area with alcoves and sarcophagi. There's crypts. There's even a map of the entire area. You see it stretches far, far beyond what you would, you would have imagined. You're led along the side of these crypts for a little bit. And then there's a, a door, but it looks like another like entrance to a mausoleum, a family crypt or something. The door is opened. And at first you see only darkness, but as people start stepping through, as you enter, you see, lit by golden magical light, a large laboratory. Fitted with the chemical tools that you couldn't even dream of, magic and science meet. Hmm. And you can see a large tank filled with the green golden liquid. And the awe says, this is where I was made. And he drops the illusion and Parkini sees his broken body. And immediately runs over to him and starts helping him over. She pushes a few buttons on a console and you see these magical sigils light up. And this liquid starts funneling out of this chamber she opens it, and he steps in. She closes it again and presses a few other things, and this liquid starts pooling in again. 
and you just see his head loll down. As she turns around to all of you. Did, did you all do this? He started it. Looks at him. I, I don't doubt you, but you incurred these injuries on him. I'm more asking because that is a great feat. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah 100%. Well, well, absolutely. We all, oh, yeah. Like, I, yeah. He was all like, rah, and I was all like, ah, and it, it was amazing. If I could go <laughs> further, I have more spell slots. Right? I have more, well, they're not bullets, but I can attack more. I punched him really hard. <laughs> I shot so many arrows. <laughs> oh, I only just the front one. Yes, and we do it again. Uh, Clarkney, I. I don't, I didn't do much damage to him, but you might want to have a look at the throne. <laughs> what? The throne? Oh. I might have punched the I, throne. No, that's really that's hard. Fine. That's okay. fine. Oh, oh, good. Okay. <laughs> I know you're probably all very tired, but and she looks over towards you, Rudy. Can I, can I speak with you for a moment? Yes, yes, Please? you can. And she yeah, sort of gestures yeah, to yeah. step outside, and you can all see that there is this like barrier of darkness you can't see outside. Can I? No. I can see through magical darkness though. It's not magical darkness. Oh. Can I can't sense anything. I would say make an intelligence saving throw, George. Oh no, that's negative one, Josie. Anything else? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Anything sorry. Else? I'm sorry. That's that's just how it's gonna be. Mm. Oh, it's okay because I crit. Thank so you. Oh. <laughs> you know this sensation. You're definitely oh. in a pocket dimension. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Mm. Oh. Like we're not home. Not home, no. This is this is on. like you you don't think that this this dimension exists beyond this room. Ah. Right. Pocket lab. Mm. Pocket lab. I love this. It is a pocket lab. Uh Rudy follows. Rudy, yep. you're yeah. And she starts walking, and you can tell that the high priestess is stepped out with her and is like keeping an eye around. Can't see much of her face. You can make out a few details. But the veil blocks a lot of it. Is she and blinking? Parkany is. Can we see her eyes? Make a perception check. I have I have a I have thoughts on uh we'll take a twenty six. A twenty six. She is blinking. Okay. Alright. But she looks jaundiced. Hmm. Yeah, I thought as such. Cool. Oh, Next God, I just... Ammonia ER. <laughs> Harkonies... I, just, I just had the thought, though. <laughs> just like, when you ask me, like, does she have eyelids? And I was like, oh, no, is he just looking for someone who's like him? And then I imagined him kissing someone that looked like him. Without lips, it's just, just clapping together. Oh, <laughs> just the worst. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Look, my brain starts walking down. Ways, okay. <laughs> Harkney starts walking down this line of crypts. Ah, if, if this is about our deal from the other night, I, we might have to postpone this. Please, please, please walk with me. Oh, okay. And she does walk. And she says, I understand that you probably expended a lot of your powers. Uh, I, I don't use magic myself, but I understand that there is a limit to what a person can do. And after a moment, she stops, and you can see that there's, like, a plaque, a large, beautiful golden plaque that says Shuregard Crypt. And she opens the door. I understand if you might not be able to do it now. But at the same time, what I did for you was a big ask that could have cost me a lot. I need to ask for something in return. 
even if you can't bring her back today or try. I need to ask for some form of collateral. As she grabs your hand, pulls a dagger, and chops it off. And that's where we're going to end for today. Oh, shit. Well, uh, just have her stay at her house overnight. Like, what? <laughs> oh, shit. He lost a lot him. more. She <laughs> <laughs> oh. just stayed the night at her place. She could have made sure we didn't leave. Like, I guess the... you gotta change your name. It's fine. To it's Magic fine. And McGee. It's oh, we are so gonna have words next week. <laughs> I wish I could give you one of my spell slots. Because mm. uh, I still have a few. <laughs> Do you have a seventh level? Yes. <laughs> if only. I uh, have sixth and seventh and fifth. No, I use my fifth. Oh. And we got through that encounter without requiring really the seventh level. If I had have saved it, yeah. I like mine. This is fair. This is consequences. I understand. This is consequences. This is consequences. What consequences? What are those? So now on the back of that shirt, we need a hand instead of George. We, Josie, we just launched the merch store and you're telling me I've got to now go to Denny and ask her to remove one of Rudy's hands? Denny, can you just... Oh my gosh. No, rub it out. <laughs> oh. It's okay. I'm sure can you, No, Denny, Denny, can you just add like some glue? Like <laughs> as an effect? <laughs> Actually, I think one of the hands is under a shield. I think it's okay. A shield that Rudy doesn't use anymore, but that's all right. It's no, neither here nor there. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, that is that's where we're gonna end it. I love day. that. I actually love that. That was amazing. That was good. <laughs> oh, and just in time because I had snoozed that ad away so yeah. many times. <laughs> so looking at the image, yes, one of the hands is indeed behind a shield. Excellent. And Nana. And, and behind that. There you go. Excellent. All right. Yeah, Where we'll we never going? know which one is which. Wait, which yeah. hand did she grab? Oh, it would have been the left one. Thank you. No, it would have been her left, so your right hand. No, that... Okay. Are you right-handed, buddy? I am right-handed. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you didn't really have a lot of tissue to protect the hand. Okay, buddy. Pretty... I mean, it got... I I'm sure Regenerate will work on you. Well, yeah. Maybe. That's a good question. Hmm. That's a good question, but yeah. What uh, that is going to be, we have, we've well, wrapped up the session. We'll probably morph you into a human and then you regenerate and then you go back. We are going to be taking questions. What my old us, hand? I know Orb has raided away. Orb, if you gotta go, you gotta go. That's completely When you gotta go, you gotta go. When you gotta go, <laughs> but I... Good night, Orb. Night, night, Orb. But we're, we're opening the floor for questions a little bit. Uh, I know Aussie's probably gonna run away. Yeah, I will. Um, but... A Oh, go ahead. I was just going to say, before I go, I just want to remind everyone that, as I not so subtly put, we did launch a merch store today regarding the campaign. So if you want to see yes. all the characters in their current forms, give or take a few items, uh, it's all right there. Uh, we also have... That is, yes, because that is the, the launch uh... of the new art. That yeah, it's the, that's what I was saying. People. It's the new art. So it's the current form of the characters, give or take a few items, plus... Uh, a new shot of Jalira, uh, the big bad, and a mm -hmm. poster that details all the characters from the campaign, or all the party members of the campaign, uh, in a really awesome pose. So definitely check that out. Um, yeah, you don't have we, to... Hmm? We get a, a link out to the various yeah, chats. Yeah, yeah, the, links are, the links are gone. There has, yep. uh, there has been links, links and like on repeat in yeah. in my chat. There's, uh, there's been Cuddly was uh, also kind enough to pin a message to mm. our new Twitch channel. Mm. Yeah. Um, um. I was just gonna. Account? I was just gonna quickly mention. Um. Even if. Um. I mean, obviously, we're not asking everyone to go out and buy things. Um. However, you know, if you could share the link around to circles that may enjoy this sort of RPG art, um, that would be amazing as well. So. Um. This and is know know that if you do buy mm. merchandise, uh, the the proceeds go to us increasing the production value of the campaign itself absolutely uh, or even just helping cover the current costs mm. which we're just paying yes. out of love for yes doing yeah, this. yes yes um, we, um, we are that that we are mm. so yeah um, yeah but i'm gonna i'm gonna quickly raid out before this ad pops so no one has to sit through an ad i probably should be Thanks, prepping that. um so i'll quickly raid for you 
Um, yes, I do. I do have a question in chat from Moogle. Uh, Moogle's asking, who of the players is most likely to try and fist fight a dragon if they were real? Goose. Yeah. No, That's players. Oh. Not, the, oh. not the characters, oh, the oh, players. Oh, oh, oh. Denny. Me. Denny. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, Denny it, would, would. it would be cuddly for sure, right? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I would try and pet would a you? dragon. 